Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series here on the channel, a live stream series, so there's going to be no time lapses, none of that, everything's going to be live. Episode 1, the map is called Western Wilds, it's going to be interesting um new farm sim map i believe this is a new one yes um but i have went ahead and set us up i've got the game paused so i can explain the backstory we're not starting off with completely nothing like in the uh calm lands rags and riches series the backstory of our character in this series is we worked at a factory Let's say it paid about, I don't know, $24 to $30 an hour. And we worked there for 10 years, putting in, you know, the standard 6% uh, into a 401k with the company matching 6%. And we worked there for those 10 years until we decided that we were going to buy some land with some timber on it, you know, the classic start. Um, and we were going to build a farm. Now, the plot that we bought already had a barn on it, a very small barn, very basic barn that you can store some stuff in. Um, we had a paid for 2006, 3,500. Uh, we went ahead and bought with our cashed out retirement. Uh, we went ahead and bought a, uh, trailer with some log forks in it. And the plot already had a single wide mobile home, but it's not the same single wide from the rags to riches series. Just a little bit of spice for the channel. I hope you guys enjoy this series. Please do if you're already setting in the chat now and, and you are hyped for a new series. This one being a live series, so everything will be live. I think it'll be interesting. Uh, let me real quick run through the people that are here at the beginning of the live stream and we'll get on with the episode one. Blaine, Darian, Casey, Joe, Tanner, Cody, Joe again, Cameron, <laughs> David, Casey, and John. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad to see you guys here. Be sure to hit the like button if you don't mind. What's up, David? What's up? What's up, Logan? Let's go ahead, hit number six on the keypad, and unpause. Now, you'll notice we have $30,000. And the reason why... I gave us just a little bit of bread, just a little bit of cash. Not starting off with zero dollars in the bank. Is because, let me fly up here, go up in camera mode. Whoa, we got a little bit of lag. So, this is the property we bought. Um, I guess I could have extended out the driveway. But, it already had a small barn on it. We bought it from an old guy. Uh, we moved our dog over here. All that good stuff. I had the mobile home. And, uh, basically... Kind of the same sort of start that you see with these series is that we're going to cut up the timber on our land and uh, sell some timber since we no longer have a full-time 9-to-5 job like everybody else. Uh, we have our paid for Dirty Max there, silver in tone this time. And uh, Brian says, what's up? You know I'll be here. And what I think is going to be awesome about this series, if you're watching this as a recording, as compared to the Rags to Riches series, is that there's going to be live interaction throughout the series. And I think that that's going to be cool. Now, I'll give you a quick tour of the map real quick. Now, you'll notice it's, it's very flat. I wanted to go with just a flat map with some terrain. It's got some terrain here and there. We're right next to some uh, rock and a pond. It looks like it has a fishing deck and a boat. There is a movable train on this map, and it does move. It's pretty cool. You can actually, I guess, sell stuff to it, and it's, it's pretty interesting, and it does make me lag a little bit. Um, over here, we do have a long way to drive to go to the store. And it's a very, very large map. Uh, over here is, I guess you would say, sort of the town center or part of a town center. And then there's more stuff over there in that corner. I haven't ventured that far yet, so this will be some discovery for us together. Here, I think this is like a broken down farm that you can buy and rebuild. This is just somebody's abandoned farm. 
Um, and we're going to say that this area, I mean, we're just going to call it Kentucky because that's where I'm from. That's just where I'm, whoa, we're lagging out. All right, let's go over here. I think every time, the closer we are to the train, we're going to have lag issues. I hope that's not the case. But here is the Dirty Max. we got some different rims on this series, and we are getting a little bit of lag due to the train. That's going to be some kind of rubber banding there. Now, I'm not sure if this opens up or not. I don't think it does. It's just a basic barn that you can store different things in and unload it right here for when we're ready to unload some stuff. Um... Let's see. All right. Let's catch up to chat real quick before we get started here. Kim Wood says, hey, from Skylar Ryder and Case. Hello, hello, uh, Skylar Ryder and Case. Brian says, can't wait to play with you on Crossplay. Can't wait. Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Now, obviously, we're going to start off the classic way. We do have a dog. I guess I need to feed him, right? Let's go ahead and put food in his bill. Uh, we're going to start off cutting down some trees, and we want to cut this down so it won't fall on the house. I thought it would be cool to have a live stream series for the channel. What's up, Jeffrey? What's up? Any update on... Murph wants to know any update on the new computer parts. Uh, no update on the new computer parts. I sent both parts back. I did get a refund on the motherboard. Um, but, I mean, honestly, my PC is running perfect. So, as of right now, I mean... If they don't give me a refund on the other part, that'll be the only reason I continue with the upgrade. But if not, I mean, I don't know. You know, uh, it's, it's, uh, turn back on my hood here. Whoops. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't, I don't know if I see a reason to continue doing, uh, the upgrade until, I mean, I just can, you know, just for the heck of it. But the only reason I was upgrading was uh, was because I had to, pretty much. Uh, we want this to be about nine meters long. Uh, but, Jeffrey, what is up is we started a new series here on the channel, uh, a live series. I think it'll go over quite well. All right, now, are these short enough but big enough? Now, we are obviously going to be using Super Strength. Uh, we didn't start off with a front load or anything like that or a tail hand or anything like that. So that is... Now, I, I don't know if this trailer is uh, auto load. Let me look. Uh, doesn't seem to be. There's the truck. There, Yeah, there's not... Yeah, it's not auto load, unfortunately. I'm going to have to hit up Jake for uh, the trailer he found. I may have made a poor decision by starting next to... I didn't realize there was a train station over there, and uh, we got some rubber banding issues, it appears. Rubber banding or lag. You can kind of see it. We can imagine. I mean, we're just dragging it. I don't know. I could have found something... I think there's like some hand tools. I did download um, a hand tools pack because I thought it would be interesting to start out that way. Uh, for like when we're, like if you see here, this is a wheelbarrow. And I'm pretty sure uh, I can, yeah, I can move this. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, look at that. So like when we plant stuff, we could start out with like a small, a very tiny patch of like, I don't know. Uh, maybe I can get some, like a shovel to dig up t potatoes or something. I think that'd be interesting. Mike says, I did my own start from zero on this map. I accidentally found a gold nugget. Was always a happy accident. Was a happy accident when I was really struggling. Yeah, um... I think the grind is definitely real, real with these type of series, uh, for sure. We have a lot of land to work with right here. Uh oh, a little mouse cursor came up there. Right, let's continue chopping down, and we're gonna go for probably two hours tonight. Now I did download the far-reaching chainsaw. So we don't have to get right up on it. And uh, dang, we're up to 68 folks watching currently. Nice. 
Again, I hope you guys like this series. Please do hit the like button to get this out to more folk. Don't forget to do that. Oh, no, it left this, didn't it? I can't get rid of it. Oh, well. We'll deal with it as it comes. If I can pick it up, I'll put it in the back of the truck. There we go. And you guys will have to let me know uh, if you want to hear the chainsaw. Um, I can turn the game up, game volume up a little bit, but I don't want it to be uh, super loud. It might be too low. You guys will have to let me know. It's at negative 30 decibels right now. And I can turn it up to like negative uh, 10 or something. If it's too quiet and you guys want to hear the chainsaw running, let me know. And yeah, I think it just tr three trace logs per tree so far. Can I not pick that up? Like, come on now. Pick it up. There we go. I got rid of it. That'll work too. Man, where like lumberjack as a mod is just so good. Because it lets you start out this way without the headache of chopping it up into small pieces. Uh, Jeremiah says, what happened to the farming episode? What do you mean what happened, man? Uh, that'll be out tomorrow. Uh, we're starting a live series tonight. That will be out tomorrow. Whoa, lag. Uh, Casey says, my son Titus says hi. He loves a farming simulator. Well, uh, hello to Titus, and I am glad that he uh, likes farming. So it's crazy how big farming simulator is. Alan says, that's not a mod on console, is it? Uh, Lumberjack, no. Uh, but there is a, I don't think that there's a super strength for logs, unfortunately. But I think that there is there is a super strength mod, but it's for like big bags and liftable pallets or something like that. Some kind of mod like that. I wish that it didn't. There we go. But uh, yeah, it's pretty wild the size of the farming simulator community for sure. That's why I had that on so I can see what length it was. Let's see. Start down on this end. Uh, we want right at nine meters. George Gomez Jr. says, Love your content, man. Keep up the grind. I appreciate that, George, and we will keep it up. The channel is growing, and I thought, you know what? Let's start a new live Farming Simulator 22 series. Because this will be... I'll be able to, like... This will actually be easier, honestly, uh, than doing the Rags to Riches series because there will be no editing. All I have to make is a thumbnail before I go live, and then I can have live interaction as well. And just whatever's recorded, that's what's done for the series. You know what I mean? Now, the drawback to that is, is that we're, we're not going to be able to make the progress that you're seeing in the Rags to Riches series because... Um, the hour and 30 minute long episodes are me playing for like eight to nine hours. So if we do like two or three hours, an episode of these live streams, I mean, we aren't going to be able to make that, that big amount of progress that you see on racks to riches. Cause I'm absolutely grinding away on that series. Why can't I take out my, there we go. What is happening? There we go. So it will be a slow burn uh, as compared to the Rags Riches series. Logan says, what's the game plan for crops and equipment? Um, as of right now, I'm just focused on the logging portion on this episode. But, I mean, really the game plan is to make as much money as possible and this is just going to be a live series that I guess... Let me show you the map. I probably should have showed you that first before we got started here. 
But as you see here, I mean, there is so, this is a larger map, I'm pretty sure, than, um, than the comms land, land map, I should say. Um, and that being the case, oh, look, it's got its own little, it's like on an iPad with a pen and a sticky note. That's funny. Um, we could do, you know, the classic own all plots, um, we could just have fun with this series really until you guys are ready for a new map or I feel that the series is just kind of dragging on. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know that I'll toss the question back to you guys of like, what should be our first goal for our crop and how should we go about it? I do want to show you the tractor I have an aim for. And uh, you guys have probably already seen it on uh, Jake. It made an appearance on Jake's channel. Um, but I really like this tractor. Um, it's the International Harvester 786. We're going to aim for this one. We might aim higher depending on how much our logs bring in. Um, but we're not going to start out with the uh, other, the farm all like we did on the other one. But what we may do, because this goes all the way up, I believe, into large tractors. There's a 1586. I think that's where it stops, yeah. We may aim for the 1586 and just, you know, get the biggest one that we can buy. But it's an awesome mod. Let's see. Yeah, it stops at medium tractors. So I guess, how much was the tractor? I mean, 43,000. We're starting the game with 30,000. Hmm. I mean, honestly, we could aim to get a 1586. Red power 1881. Ooh, okay. I like the white stripe right there. It's pretty neat. Um, but this is like, this is kind of what I'm looking at as our first tractor. Uh, the 1586. So we're probably going to need, I'm going to say 60 grand or so, because I'm going to want to customize it for sure. I own a 1486. That's awesome. I know a lot of people that own that tractor, like the 1086. I know a lot of folks that own that tractor. Yeah, four wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to customize it yet because we are, we're not buying it right now, but. Definitely in the uh, future. Um, Cameron says, buy the main area and turn the map into a farm empire. Big fields, course play to run everything. Good open land. Good for learning course play. Yeah, we, we'll definitely get to that. I mean, obviously, we're not going to like start out with like millions of dollars and buy everything up and then, you know, be like, all right, guys, we got a farming empire. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, we can definitely do that. My dad has a 1086 and 786. Yeah, I've. Oh, wait, I didn't pick up the rest. I, I know a lot of people that own those tractors, that tractor set, I should say. It's like a staple tractor, so. It's like, compared to when we started the Rags to Riches series, when I didn't know much about mods... Like, this is so much, going to be so much of an easier start, if you will, and not as uh, as hardcore as that series started off to be. And it really got draining around episode, I think, five or six. Gosh, that was a, that was a grind. That was a grind. Oh, we're going to have to uh, help it. Well... Whoa, whoa now. I have to help it fall. Timber. There we go. Timber. But you guys that watch this as a recording, make sure that uh, you leave us some comments of what your recommendations are going to be as well. And I will read them as well. Uh, the community server is pretty much ready to go. Uh, those of you that are subscribed on Patreon, uh, I don't know, I guess Friday I could, or Thursday I could post the password and the name of the server for you guys. 
that way you guys can log on and start I still need to figure out how to like set everybody with so much money but I mean I could just set it as whatever because unless it'll have the mod start from scratch and you can like sell your money pretty much and start with nothing if you want to or start with like 100k or whatever um, but that'll be up to you guys I don't really want to I don't know how to set everybody's money to like you know zero or 100k or 500k or whatever I think everybody starts out with like six million or something like that as it stands. All right, let's uh, take these to be sold. Now, the only thing is, is I have no idea where to sell on this map. Maybe uh, Wood, Sawmill North, Train Yard. Train Yard sells the most right now for 4,500. I wonder if we'll crash. Hmm. Austin says some of the best tractors for the used market price and what you can do with it. I have a front loader on mine and use it to pick vehicles up that I'm working on. Yeah, I mean, those tractors are absolute units. The 1086, I've seen it do some pretty wild stuff. Okay, so I'm going to north. So let's try to, uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully we don't crash here. Uh, very first thing I'm going to do is save it, though, before we do anything. Because I know it gets laggy um, the closer you get. Uh, Brandon asks, is this the new supporter map? No, this is a map that I found on Mod Hub. Um, this is not a map that I have had created. Uh, that will come in due time. Uh, we're nowhere near being able to afford from this channel to pay modders to make us custom mods yet. Like, n not even close. Um, Cameron asks, what map is the community server going to be? It's going to start out on Calm Lands. Calm Lands. All right, so we stop here, and how do we sail exactly? Um, oh, down here. I see wood. Maybe. Right here is wood, tons of wood. Yeah, here's the wood cart. Oh god, it keeps making my mouse pop up there. Alright, maybe we're in the zone? I don't exactly know. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, sell wood. Boom. Look at that. Plus 14,252. So we got a little bit of a grind ahead of us. Sure, there needs to be a better place to turn around for sure. We'll just travel through the woods, I guess. We find the road here. And then this is our land right here. Our property land right there. We just crossed onto our property. Why does it keep bringing up my mouse? It's so weird. It keeps like locking my camera up. Uh oh, I looked over at chat for a second. Can't see anything. And our first, like, farmable area will probably be behind our trailer, so I guess I need to clear all that out. Uh, Matt says, what do we have here? Uh, this is a new series, as I previously stated, a live series instead of a recorded series, so we can have live interaction as we're progressing. There'll be no time lapse or anything like that. This will just simply be a live playthrough. No. Oh. Kind of the same uh, sort of start point. Uh, the backstory uh, you you'll be able to rewatch and or you can actually scroll back with YouTube Live and uh, get the backstory of our character. Pretty much the same, but with a little bit more depth as far as like what we did to acquire the land and what our previous job was or where we we worked at like a factory for 10 years six percent match on 401k we withdrew it all and went and bought some land with some timber and now we're starting not completely from scratch we still had about 30k left over uh from our 401k of paying everything off like our truck credit cards all that bull crap trailer and uh getting a live start for you guys yes this will be awesome i think it'll be pretty great pretty great for sure um, 
Daniel wants to know, is the community servers going to be for console as well? So, yes, our very first server that will be going up, that is already ready to go up, if you guys are ready for it, it is console and PC. I'm pretty sure I have cross-play checkmarked. So, now, as far as it actually working, that will, you know, do to be seen when you guys try to connect because I don't have a console, so I can't really say much. Why is this not hitting this tree? What's happening? Uh, there we go. Whoa. We go. Matt Nee with the $20 super chat. This sounds good, Jay. Can't wait for more live streams. Hey, man, me too. I appreciate the 20 bangers. Let's go. There it goes. It pops up. Heck yeah. That's awesome. I appreciate that, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 20 big boys. All right. Um, <laughs> don't do it. Uh, leave at full length loaded. LOL, wait, what? Nah. We'll keep it somewhat realistic and match the length of the trailer. Be all right. We'll cut it two or three times. Uh, Brandon at Brandon Turner asks, so is this another series like Rags to Riches? Yes, it is almost exactly alike, except with a different backstory and a different map. Uh, Austin asks, what would you tell someone that is wanting to start a trucking company? Um, Austin, I'll tell you right now. There are... If you went and started a lemonade stand, you would be better off than starting a trucking company. I'm just being full on, straight honest with you, my man. Don't do it. And I'm pretty sure that anybody that has started their own trucking company at one point will tell you the exact same thing. Um, overhead is simply, uh, just simply too high. Unless you have just like, you know, $500,000 laying around to be able to like pay for a good truck and have your own trailer and stuff and you know like i don't know but then it's like why would you start that business you know if you got 500k laying around you can literally buy a business already making money definitely don't recommend it um you will more than likely not succeed at that if you're talking about irl uh not the time it's definitely not the time definitely not the time the world is not in your favor at the moment for sure On your own truck already. Well, um, my insurance a month, my trucking insurance was twenty three hundred dollars and eighty four cents, and I have no accidents. You know, good clean record, and that was my monthly cost for just insurance. So, you know, take that for what you will. I am on the younger end of the spectrum, but I also have my dad on the policy who has been trucking for over. 13 years with his own truck and route same route local does it every day only takes wednesdays off and that was my quote so there was a big boom during the pandemic i guess you would say that everybody just went out and started a trucking company with all like the uh free money they got and everything and uh that in turn made insurance prices go crazy so if you thought insurance was high before I mean, and that's happened for all industries, not just trucking. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous, especially for somebody starting out in the business. You need all, you need the lower, you need the lowest overhead as possible. And trucking is just not it. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, Matt says, all good, mate. Loving all your content. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. And I will keep creating as long as you guys watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Every time I log on my IRL channel, I see all about it. Comments everywhere, and I'm just like, holy crap, let's go back to the gaming channel. <laughs> uh, uh, I used to make, like, uh, news videos and everything for trucking. Like, water rates across the nation and all that. I used to do all that. 
it gets old for sure. But people were willing to pay me two hundred dollars an hour to talk to me. So, I mean, I guess what I said meant something to some people. But I just, I, I just told them I was like, it is not worth it. Not worth it. It's like, do not pay me that. Um, yo broski do you own any tractors yourself I do not but I have I was raised in a holler um, helped bell hay you know all that good stuff uh, so I've been around tractors I've been around I've been through that country living if you will uh, surviving off the land deer hunting rabbit squirrel uh you know, pluck chickens, raised chickens, rat, wild rabbits, uh, raised rabbits. I've done it. Uh, growing up from like age six to twelve, and then we moved away. The mother got with somebody else, or no? She yes, yeah, she got with somebody else. That's all it was. Come on then. <laughs> then he got married. Yep. Yep. No tractors as of yet, but. If all goes well within, I'd say, the next five years, I do plan on buying a huge farm at about at least 30 acres, I'm thinking. And that's our plan anyway. And then I'm going to buy some equipment and uh, do some IRL farming. And uh, I might post that here on this channel or I might just post it to my IRL channel. I haven't decided yet. This channel will probably, I mean, YouTube is changing to where like before they said, you know, pick a niche stick with that niche but youtube has changed to keep up with tiktok to where you can post anything on your channel and each video is its own niche whereas channels used to be years ago the game has changed the game has changed for youtube and i've been tr like on and off doing youtube for the past like six to eight years pretty well i remember back in school middle school or high school i tried to record like with an old crappy laptop that you'd buy at walmart like make minecraft videos back in the day gosh i remember that using like a cracked minecraft uh like i didn't own it you know gosh and it had like watermarks on it it was wild back in the day it was a while ago dang i still have those old recordings somewhere Brian uh, Brian says, where the heck did this come from? It just appeared out of thin air, and here we are. Here we are, starting a new series. What do you know? Well, come on then. For your first tractor, buy a 4440. Uh, I'm, I'm really wanting to do the uh, 1586. I'm really wanting to do this because I see that tractor all time and it's such a timeless classic Curtis says I work for a logging company and our owner operator trucks uh, drives make about 5k a week and 40 40% of that goes to fuel and insurance yeah man I mean listen uh, I made when I got into trucking I mean you know I, I could make $1,100 a day you know you know what I'm saying but then you're like, okay, for that day, subtract at least 200 for fuel, depending on how far you drive, probably more. Um, I did. I tried to stay pretty close to home, so it would be like states surrounding Kentucky. I never went like super over the road, right? So it was in between 200 to $300 for diesel. So you subtract that from 1000 that leaves you with uh, 700 And then you got to put aside money for oil changes, uh, if you do them yourself, obviously it's going to be cheaper, but I believe I did them all myself and I think it still ran me like at least 200 to $240 between buying everything to do it, um, and doing it and, you know, tires, maintaining the truck, setting aside enough for, you know, the truck bill insurance. It's just not there. It's not there. And YouTube hyped it up. You know what I mean? Um, and I did ride that wave on my IRL channel and grew the channel to what it is. Uh, 5,700 subs, I think. can't remember. Uh, Matt says, 
What's up, Jay? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I have a dentist appointment. Like I said, when I had my emergency dentist appointment, I go back on the 26th. I have that on Thursday. It's the 24th today. And it's just a standard cleaning, you know, nothing super crazy. So it should be in and out. It's like it's at like 1 o'clock. So I should be able to record quite a bit. I'm going to try to wake up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, we'll have an episode of Rags to Riches out tomorrow. So... Uh, 7210 Magnum, best thing I bought, says Alex. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get more tractors for sure. Uh, I just want to start with the 1586 this time. Let's go around as our tractor. Seth asks, is the racks to riches over? You may have gone over this already, but I just got here. No, this is just a live series. I wanted to have something where we could interact as the series progressed. Um, this series is going to be, you know, and you'll probably rewatch it, you know, the beginning, or you can go back right now uh, utilizing YouTube's player and then come back. But the backstory is, you know, we were a factory worker for like 10 years. Uh, invested in 401k all that time and uh, we cashed out basically uh, company had like a 6% match all that bullcrap uh, basically the same as the company I work for uh, pretty much and uh, we're take we took that money and bought some land with some timber on it from an old guy and uh, put a single white on it and uh, paid off our well we already had it paid off but uh, our 2006 3500 and then we bought us an aluminum log trailer not sure why I made it aluminum but I did and, uh, yeah, we're going to be selling the timber and starting our farm that way. It'll be a cool story, I guess you'd say. Uh, Kyle asks, what would a decent PC setup cost for someone just getting started, not looking for anything crazy? So let me actually alt-tab real quick, and then we'll also save the game just in case it crashes. The only and I need to reach out to these guys because I do advertise them completely for free. Um, I I'm not sponsored in any way. Any way. Uh, gaming PCs pre-built and then you can select from there. These guys right here they've been around a long time, uh, but NZXT is the only place I would recommend buying pre-builds from. They have a warranty that if anything happens, you send it back and they fix it for free, basically. I think it's up for a year. It's anything. Anything goes wrong with it, if anything at all. And uh, they actually do uphold that promise. Uh, I have, like, Linus Tech Tips and other big uh, tech YouTubers. Like, they're the best. They're the best of the best. Um, and they, their parts are actually not bad priced as well, even at pre-built parts uh, prices in this uh, crazy market. And if you've never built a PC before, I highly, highly recommend getting a pre-built for your first one. Um, I mean, I would say for your first starter system in today's time is probably going to run you between 1000 to 1500 bucks. And a lot of people say, oh, no, you, you can get way better than that. But, like, you want something that'll last you at least like two or three years for your starter pc right like you don't want to just be like oh i bought this 500 hundred dollar pc and i can only play call of duty at the worst quality you know you know what i'm saying um yeah i'd say a thousand fifteen hundred that's what i would pay my next pc is going to be well over six grand so just to put that in perspective um and for me it'll be an investment so, in due time, um, I'm going to build the best of the best PC that I can possibly build. And right now, it's priced at about over six grand. Pretty wild, pretty wild. Uh, Isaac asks, is the truck stock? It is not. It is 1,000 horsepower. It is 1,000 horses. One zero zero zero. Uh, get a forty four forty, and we'll think about it. Uh, Kyle, I've priced nine hundred, and that, and that's basic AF. Yeah, I would, I would at least go like and expect to get a good something that's going to last you a while. Fifteen hundred. I would just go ahead and 
you know. Yeah. Horsepower. Yep. Uh, Brandon Burke, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. Wife told me if I did before I I got she's going to kick my yeah. Yeah, probably shouldn't. <laughs> uh probably shouldn't. I hate the dentist, man. Like I know, you know, I need I need to get it done, need to do it, whatever, and I go and get it over with, but gosh. I don't know, it's something about the smell. You know what I'm saying? Something about the smell of the dental office that just has irked me since I was a kid. It's just that smell. I don't know if it's latex or what. Yeah, that's the plan, right? Like, a $6,000 PC for me would be a tax write-off. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think I get to write off all of that, but I could, you know, definitely write. Because I'm not like, this isn't LLC or anything like that. So I think I get to write off maybe like 60% or something like that. It just depends on how it's wrote up uh, when I file. Speaking of which, I got all my W-2s from last year, so I need to... Uh, I got two of them, and uh, I need to get that taken care of. I don't think I got a 1099 from last year. I need to get that scheduled before everybody gets in there like crazy. Uh, Isaac says, glad I'm not the only one who has a issue with the smell. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I've always, ever since I was little, it's just like... It's not that I, you know, I'm not scared or anything like that. It's like that smell, there's something about it. Just like, I don't, you know, it just makes me not want to be here. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's pretty odd, for sure. Dang, 89 people watching currently. Let's go. Let's get those likes up, guys. We're at 29. Smash that like button. Uh, oh, what happened? Yuria Ferguson says, let me know if you pretended she she pepper on your mouth. You can taste that one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nine meters. But I uh, appreciate everybody hanging out. For our first little live episode, if you will. And if you're watching this as a recording, be sure to hit the sub button if you haven't already. You know what's crazy? I, I find it crazy that people that watch the channel, uh, it's like 60-40 are subscribed. And it's like, you know, they watch multiple episodes. And it's like, how are they not subscribed? Which I know how YouTube works. You know, like once you watch one or two of their episodes, they just automatically pop up on your home page, and you just don't think about it. You know, it's just so. I know back in the day, it was like to see the people you like, you had to subscribe. You know, and YouTube just changed so much. So weird. It's crazy, man. Corey says, I'm here. What did I miss? You missed the very start and explanation of our new basically starting from scratch series, uh, live series that you're watching now. Alongside the Rags to Riches series. And this will just be, it, it'll just, the only difference is, is, you know, no, no time lapses, um, just live interactive gameplay with the same sort of series as Rags Riches, except on a new, different map. New to us, I should say. It's Western Wilds is what we're playing on. Uria says, sorry, did you know... Uh, did you know if you pretend to shake pepper on your mouth, you can taste it? Really? That's interesting. Hmm. Didn't know that. <laughs> I don't think it's ever crossed my mind to want to know that actually <laughs> but that's pretty cool <laughs> uh, new game yep exactly as i just stated this is going to be a start from scratch-esque series like the rags to riches series except it's going to be live um and all the progress will be done live there'll be live chat interaction chat will be included 
the viewer, I should say, will be included in the series. They, they can make recommendations on what we buy, what we do, instead of waiting for the next episode and reading your comment, being like, oh, that's a good idea, too bad we already did this, you know what I mean? Uh, so this will just be more of an interactive uh, start-from-scratch series, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, Yuria says, by the way, what are we trying to do? Are you trying to make a cabin? Uh, not a cabin. We got our little mobile home that came uh, with our land that we bought from the old guy. Uh, we are aiming to save up enough to customize and buy a... F Let's see. Let me show you what we're... Let me, let me look real quick. The 1586, I believe. Yep, the 1586. We're saving up to customize this the way we want it and buy it. And I'm going to think it's going to be around 60 but we can we can look i want this to be an 80 to 81 i think uh, 60 76 79 that looks better i like that uh we want obviously a four drive if we can put it that way four drive single row crops yep this is how we want that interior we don't care about that we don't care about the exhaust open station I wanted the, this is like the one, the 1086 that I know somebody has from my hometown. Uh, it's enclosed. I don't think we're going to go with the red cab. Definitely the white cab. That's how it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, the options. Front loader. We put a front loader or we have 44.8. Uh, do we need weights? I guess we do new 900 pound weight on the front. Like the old cat eye. Me too, man. Me too. Um, oh crap. I need to catch up to chat while we're looking at what we're going for here. And uh, I guess I'll get a screenshot here as well. There we go. This will be a better one. There we go. Screenshot for the next thumbnail. Um, Isaac says, Curious, wonder if you can operate a plow or tether with a truck. I don't think so, but I don't really want to try it. That's a little bit too crazy. Uh, Jeffrey says, It's salt shaker and it's a gag uh, to make you look like you're giving a, hand, giving a handy into your mouth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Matt says, should let everyone know on TikTok what you're doing this live series here. I bet more people will come over. Well, you know, I have it in the, in the bio, which I know nobody ever reads, you know, the bio of TikToks. Um, but I put live streams are on YouTube. So people that look at the bio can come over. But, you know, I'm not going to make an effort. Um, I may take this series and I may download it and chomp it up or have somebody do it if i get to that point to be able to pay an editor um but i don't know i'm not i'm not super worried about tiktok i'm just going to keep posting the rags and riches series at the moment there but eventually i think i'll just drop it what's a bio yeah what's a bio right um but yeah we'll see um i may do an episode well i could do that right now i guess let me pull up tiktok and make a quick video i guess i could do that it takes two seconds oh lord hello um, let's do a 60 second, I guess. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hey guys, we're live right now on YouTube. If you guys want to watch a new live Rags to Riches-esque series starting from basically nothing, the classic start on a new map. If you guys enjoy the series here, we're looking at a uh, International Harvester 1586 that we're looking at as our first tractor. Come on over to the live stream linked in the bio. Boom, there we go. Done. Professional. What do you think of that? <laughs> uh, post live on YouTube. Exclamation point. And then we'll put hashtag farming simulator 22. Hashtag farming. Hashtag international. 
International. Boom. And then tractor. Yes, that will work, I think. Yep. And then Kentucky, of course, because, you know, I mean, you just have to put Kentucky around there. Why not? All right. And I accept music usage confirmation and post. Boom. I got a lot of TikToks posted today and scheduled. And that's how it's done. Literally, that's how it's done. And I literally posted that and Jake's TikTok popped up. Immediately popped up. <laughs> All right. Uh, Caleb says, are you still going to be doing the between the episodes on Rags Riches? Uh, yes, I'll be doing those basically whenever I have the extra time or whenever I feel like it. Uh, as it stands, like tomorrow's episode is going to be coming out for episode 43, I believe, right? And I could do it between the episodes tomorrow night, maybe, um, depending on how time works out there. Uh, but it, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to do it between the episodes on Thursday because Thursday I'm going to have to record the next episode of Racks of Riches to have you guys an episode on Friday. That's kind of how that works. So there is a chance we could do it between the episodes tomorrow night after I release the episode for tomorrow. Uh, that is an option. I guess we could go ahead and buy this thing. I mean, 44 8, 62,000. Then we got to look at what we're going to use to plow, right? So rear attach extras. Top drawbar link and third SCV. I guess we'll just throw it on there. It doesn't cost anything. Yeah, this is what I'm wanting right here. Let's uh, check the wheels. Continentals. Goodyear. Ooh. Ooh. Goodyear. Firestone. Definitely like the way the Goodyears look. Yeah, I think we go with the Goodyear. But we got to go back to the four drive. Ooh, ooh, okay. Plow duels. Look at that. You can switch it. Oh, look at that. Yes, sir. That's pretty sick. We'll leave the dual hubs on. Need the mud mud flaps. Do we need mud flaps? Do we have mud flaps? I don't see no mud flaps. That changes the four wheel drive. You should think about getting an Oliver tractor, best looking tractor out there. We'll think about it, but for right now, this is what I'm currently wanting, I think. Mud graps. Mud graps. I see. I wonder if the aluminum trailer weighs less in game as it would IRL. I don't know, Isaac. I'm not sure about that. Go with the heaviest weight on the front will help with traction. Uh, we'll go with this for now. I'm not too worried about traction. We'll see what it does, but we can always uh, switch it up and change it. Could you just use a skid steer to run that mulcher and sell that Raptor, says Kim Wood. I'm guessing on racks to riches. I mean, probably, yeah. Um, probably, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. Uh, Kyle says, go with heavy. Okay. What weights do we have on here is the question. Where are we at here? New 900 pound, 1300 pounds, 17, 40 pound. Jeez. All right. Well, I guess we'll go with it. 44,900, our first tractor of this series. And I think we're still going to need some money. We're sitting at 17,400. Now we need to look at, and there's that pack I was talking about. Uh, it comes with like a bunch of hand tools you can use, like a hand dolly pretty neat uh we need a plow and or i think i downloaded i downloaded a sub solar that people use as a plow i don't see it though where's it at we might just do cultivator because i have that mod and we could go with this and yeah, we might do that but we still need to clear off clear this out so we can actually make our field so we'll go to the rocks and down a certain ways and then we'll go pick up our tractor that's what we'll do what's up ryan what's up we are playing a new live series today for you guys a new start from scratch live series do you still have the skidster haven't seen in a while yeah it's hiding in a bush pretty much <laughs> pretty much that's what's going on with the old skid steer. It's hiding from us. Uh, we want nine meters. Look under plows. Okay, let's look under plows real quick. 
It's the subsolar everybody uses, this one. This is what everybody seemed to use. It's six meters. Um, let's see what, because we can plow with cultivators with that mod we have. How big is this? Six meters. This is eight meters. So, I mean, honestly, we could go with this one. Um, I think that would be pretty good. We can go ahead and buy it, actually, but customize. No, we don't need to customize. Customize. What color do we want to go with? Red? To match the International Harvester? Let's do it. What do you guys think? Yep. Design color. What's this? Oh, these are the blades, I guess. Oh. Oh. That one can go to nine. This one can go to nine? Wait a minute. The subsoiler can go to nine? Oh, it does say... Oh, it does. Okay, for an extra two grand, nineteen k. The only thing is, is look at the cost difference. Jeez, oh Pete. But I mean, it is wider. But is it? I mean, dang. Ninety two hundred bucks. Dang. Yeah, we can do that. Let's uh, let's keep saving up some cash. We'll go with that. Uh, I need to go this way with it, don't I? Yep. Kim, it can. Uh, hey, I forgot what the name of the vehicle is called, but it's like an excavator, but I can cut down trees and cut off the branches for you. You should save up for that. I think you're talking about what Jake's using. I think it's the Volvo excavator that he's using. I've seen his video from today before I went live, and I think that's what you're talking about, if I'm if I'm right. I mean, yeah, we could go full into forestry, but I don't know. It's just not my, my like, I guess, cup of tea, you know? Like, I can do forestry for a while, a little bit, but... It does, for me at least, it gets a little boring. Um, you know, and the equipment's cool and everything, but I think we're going to get into farming ASAP and we'll log on the side. Whoa, 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 we're stuck. There we go. Boom. Your TikTok is the best, says Rich Man's Land FS22. I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, it was actually, when I started doing the TikTok, I noticed that there was nobody doing that style of, like, like a series on TikTok, you know, and I was like, I mean, I seen an opportunity, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm putting a series on TikTok. Oh, no. What is going on? Why is it, like, so huge? Holy crap. <laughs> Let's see, we want nine meters. What other games do you play? Man, I play so many games. Uh, we also are doing a live playthrough of the Red Dead Redemption 2 story right now. Um, my hope is in the future that me and Jake can hop on a role-playing server on Red Dead. I think that that is so cool. And I'm going to try to get into no pixel if I can. I think that'll be... Dang, this is... A what the heck? That's bigger than nine meters. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Rich Man Land, FS22 says, uh, yeah, not much, I would say. Yep. Now I'm seeing more and more pop up, which I did tell Jake to do it, uh, to grow his YouTube channel that way. And I just see it's just such ripe for opportunity. I think that FS22 has room for creators unlike other video games that are saturated like Call of Duty and among others. But I think there will come a time, and I'm usually late to things like the trucking stuff in my IRL YouTube. Uh, but this time I feel like I'm pretty early, but I think it will eventually become pretty saturated over the years. But I think it's got at least a couple years left because nobody sees the potential like I see in FS22 in the community it has behind it. It's pretty wild. Oh, look, we left a tree over here. How did I forget this tree? Hmm. <laughs> uh. 
Brian says, uh, rich man's land, stay here on YouTube. I will stay on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's definitely the place to be if you want to keep up with my playthroughs because, um, yeah, the thing about TikTok is, is it's difficult. The platform itself is difficult, not like, you know, it, it's just the platform sucks, and who knows, it could disappear one day. You keep hearing stuff. I think eventually they will do away with it and ban it. Um, but, uh, it, it, like today I was finally able to post after like a full day that they, it, it's not that they wouldn't let me post, but there's, it's just, it sucks. Like I would try to upload, I would go in incognito mode. I would, uh, restart my computer, delete my history, the cache and all that. And it just would not let me post a video. And I was like, well, F it. <laughs> I'm just not going to post it. <laughs> We're just going to play some games. Uh, my lights on Fuller's are dirt. Okay. James says, did you start this one, this live? Yes, this live stream, we started this up. And you can go back. Uh, utilizing the YouTube player and check out the start of the series and that brought us up to 38,000 bangers if you want to go back and do so. We're going to drive right through the woods here. Can't see anything. Uh, but this is the map Western Wilds if you were wondering. And Here's our property line. We own this. Heck yeah. We still got a ways to go. I guess we can go ahead and buy our subsoiler for our tractor and go ahead and pull the tractor down this way. Let's go ahead and put nine main colors, make it a popping red uh, with white, nah, gray, like sort of a blade looking, maybe a lighter gray right there. I mean, it looks pretty good. I like it. All right, uh, I'm just, I'm not going to drive there. We're going to pop in here. There we go. Oh, man, listen to that. I guess you guys can't really hear it. I can't really hear it myself. There we go. Let me turn up the game volume here up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rich Man's Land, FS22, so do you do multiplayer? Um, we will do multiplayer. I am setting up a community server for my patrons for five bucks a month. Unfortunately, that's how it has to be to cover the cost of the server, but we will have a crossplay server coming up soon. Oh, check that out. He's actually shifting. Uh, looks like a lot of trees are going to have to go to start. Yeah, they are. We're just going to go ahead and pick up our tractor and this piece of equipment here before we... Uh, we're going to continue logging. Uh, but, uh, dang, guys, this tractor is a beast. Look at this classic. Uh, Alan says, how do you start with, new pre -made, with no pre-made fields on the map? So you're probably only playing on the, the, the maps that come with the base game. Um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into the downloadable content and download a map like No Man's Land and or uh, and or Calm Lands like our Rags Riches series, Alan. What's up? Just got off work. Uh, Hayden, we just, uh, we just started a new series on the channel, this live playthrough series, kind of the same rules and regulations as the rags to riches series if you will um and this is our first tractor we just made it to our tractor so buckle up you know what i'm saying and the difference between this and rags to riches it's on a different map and a, a different backstory which if you go back and rewatch the beginning of the episode you'll figure out the backstory of our character and uh basically it's going to be live interaction with uh, me and you guys during the whole series I'm going to write that down, Wild Wild West, because we may do a series on that one for season two, I don't know. I can actually write it down, what Brian just said there. Um, I'm 
No, I, I couldn't find, I couldn't remember the name, but I typed in Western Wilds and this one popped up and it had a bunch of people commenting on that it's good and stuff. So, and it has a, a, a train on it and all that good stuff. It's a pretty new map, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Leo says, uh, if you hook that up backwards, it will pull better. Yeah, the problem is, is that we don't have we don't have the capability to do that with this tractor so we are going to have to pull it with uh from behind i should say but yeah i did know that uh leo i appreciate it uh james says in my opinion old cool stuff look better it does just like everything else even cars in my opinion like i like muscle american muscle i like you know i like old tuners like the supra Back in the day, the Skyline, uh, the RX-7, the rotary engine, you know, I love vehicles like old trucks too, the Chevy uh, C10 and all the square bodies. And, you know, I, it's to me, the farther we go, you know, down the road, it's like stuff just isn't looking the same. I get they're trying to increase profits and all this and that, but it's like, man, I don't know. I'd rather pay... I'd rather pay for good quality American-made stuff, you know, like back in the day. But, you know, I get it. Eastern North Carolina map is pretty cool, too. Yeah, I've seen, I've like, man, I've, I've seen a ton of maps, and I, I went through a ton of maps before I started this. Uh, Gavin says, will you make a big field? I would think it would be cool to make several little fields to start like a garden. So starting out, we will make, I mean, pretty tiny fields because I did download a shovel that we can use to harvest, I think. Um, but when, now that we have this tractor, we could just keep logging and go buy uh, tractor uh, attachments like you know and all that good stuff but we're gonna have to let me see if i can actually pull that up that's a good uh how do i get to that is the question uh, oh how do i get to the the shovel that i downloaded uh What would that be under? It's not under here. This is this pack of equipment because, like, I got the wheelbarrow and we already have it, but where would the shovel be? Miscellaneous, maybe? Uh, oh, there it is. Shovel. <laughs> it just falls over. Ten bucks. I should have remembered this and bought it and should have brought it with us somehow, but... Oh, well. Uh-oh. It looks like it closed out of the chat on me here. There we go. Pulled it back up. Um, heck, yeah. Definitely we'll go back once it's over. Awesome, Hayden. I appreciate it. Uh, for me, there's a sign that removes all the trees, says uh, Rich Man's Land if it's waited. Yeah, but we don't want to go too crazy unrealistic. You know what I mean? Uh, no, the plow. Flip the plow backwards. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. I see what you're talking about. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Look at that train. That's so cool. That's my first time seeing a train on this game. That's pretty wicked. Check that out. Wow. Wow. Great. Man, I think, man, if Giants only knew just the gold that they have laying in their hands right now. Oh. I see nothing but up and up from here. There's our dog. What the heck's it doing? <laughs> yeah, I flipped around. Yeah. Awesome. This map is very well made. I love that it has a train. It's so cool. Uh, can I pull up the entire map view? Yes. Uh, let me pull that up here. Farmland. It's on like a little iPad, and I guess we'll go ahead and save the game. It's not a bad idea. 
Uh, but here's like basically the town square, I guess. Well, why is it for you guys? Like my mouse cursor is not where it is on my screen. Uh, but up top it has two and down south, I think it's called like Southern Sawmill and stuff. They have different things in different corners of the map. I'm not sure what's over here in plot 61. I'm not sure what's over there. This right here is like an abandoned farm that you can buy and fix up. And over here is the train station. And our first plot is here in 32 where we're going to start out this series. But that is the entire map. We did start with a small barn for storage and uh, just a small basic barn you can store stuff in and a mobile home and a wheelbarrow and a shovel now I mean well I guess we didn't start with it we started we uh, bought the shovel um, I guess we're gonna make our field start over here so I guess I need to start cutting down these trees actually we're in field 31 now so we need to go over right here yeah our field will start right here I think well, now we're mine. Her, somehow our house is not on our is either right on our property line or is a little bit over. So we need to start right here. Yep. Now we're pretty safe in terms of harvesting and stuff. Just line it up best I can. There we go. And we'll leave this here until we're ready to plow up our first field, if you will. Uh, when you sell grain to the train, you have to get an auger to put it in the train car. Only downside I found on this map, and when you get cows, you can buy the biomass plant to take your slurry. That's pretty neat. It's pretty neat that it's got like that realism aspect to it, you know? It's pretty interesting. But good to know. I appreciate the tip. Oh, I need to see my length here. Nine. We've been watching Shameless. If you guys have watched that on Netflix, like, I love that show. I don't know what it is. It's, like, so timeless, and I see it all the time here in Kentucky, like, the same kind of, you know, family situation. And it's, like, we're, like, we're watching it for, like, oh, well, that's a small log. For I swear, it has to be, like, the third time. We'll put the small one in the back. But, uh, this is so good. Shameless of the Bomb. It really is. It's such a good show. They did such a good job. And it's like each episode, you don't have to watch the one before. It's so good. That's when you know you have a good show is when you don't have to watch the previous episode. It's like a masterpiece in terms of TV shows. We need to lower that, don't we? There we go. Um, Colin says the trailer looks familiar. It's the same trailer that we have in our Rags to Riches series, except I transformed it into a log trailer uh, with log forks, and it does not have auto load. Rich Man's Lands FS22. You should check out my YouTube. I just made it two weeks ago. So, all right, bro. Um, I have already had to ban one person for doing that, and this is this is the warning, right? Um. All I ask is that you don't advertise your channel. I used to do that when I was younger. Um, and, you know, I just straight up got banned. It's not its not good YouTube etiquette, right, to see a chat of 94 people and advertise your channel. And uh, that's not the way to go about it, you know. Like, start posting like crazy to TikTok and YouTube shorts. You'll grow that way. But going into people's live chats, that's like a big no-no on YouTube, you know. So, yeah, that's I've had to ban somebody for that before, and she was a she was a female, and uh, was quite adamant about advertising her channel. Uh, Isaac, shameless is the bomb. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, Brian says the buildable feedlot cow cow pen, coupled with the grain quid production mod will automatically load milk and slurry slurry if i can talk from the cows and you can distribute sell or store it all right let me hold up let me write that down <laughs> uh 
uh, a feedlot cow pen. Momentary break in the action. <laughs> and the grain quid production mod. Because we'll definitely give those a look. Automatically load milk, distribute to sell it, restore it. That would be great because if I get that on Rags to Riches, man, that's like the biggest headache of the cows. Like, I'm trying to automate that as much as possible. Of course, it's allegedly. Did you kill the dog? No, we didn't kill the dog. The dog is still alive. Now, this doesn't look like it's my land, but it looks like it's right on the property line. Uh, I'm from just north of Cincy, but all most of my family is from Kentucky. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like, man, that show is just, oh, that's so many Kentucky families. It just is like, and it's so, it's like bad to say, but I mean, it's just, it's just true. Like shameless is the epitome of a lot of Eastern Kentucky families for sure. And I'm sure central and Northern too. It's just so crazy. Can you kill the dog? I have no idea. I guess if you don't feed it, which we fed it at the beginning of the live stream. So, Donald says, Hey, Jay, how are you doing? Is this a new series that you're going to do? This is a great map. Yeah, this is a new series that we are uh, doing. It's going to be a live stream, you know, Racks to Riches-esque uh, series, if you will. That way there's live interaction. Uh, you guys can have input. Uh, you can give me recommendations on the fly. Uh, no more, you know, with this series at least, no more waiting until I can read your comment. And then I may have recorded the next episode until I read that comment. So it's like, you know, the live aspect of it, I think it's cool. And I, I like hanging out with you guys. And uh, we have a great time here. So I think it'll be a great series. Great series indeed. And of course, we'll always do the between the episodes every now and then when I can. Those are just basically when I can, you know. There's no promise of those anyway. Too far, Junior. Corey, no. Uh, don't V and Kev end up moving to Kentucky and Shameless and good to know? Well, I don't want to spoil nothing, but. Uh, I mean, Kev figures out, like in the movie, he's actually from Texas as an IRL actor. But in the movie or in the show, I should say, he uh, figures out that he was adopted, and his real parents are from Kentucky. And he goes down there, and they are just they act like the redneckiest people, like incest, and it's just, I'm like, man, why, why does Hollywood have to like do us like that? You know, like I know there there are some like that, but I'm like, come on now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like it's not like come on you know uh, Jason asked am I still doing the between the episodes lives yes as I just stated we'll still do those but those are just whenever I can and when IRL time allows oh Automatically get rid of that stump. I wonder if Jake knows that he can use the chainsaw to get rid of the stump. But I think because he's going into forestry, I think that's why he's not doing that. I think he's saving up for a stump grinder or something like that to get rid of the stumps. But I noticed he was getting pretty aggravated. And if you look at it and it turns red, you can, uh, if he watches this, you can uh, destroy the stump as long as you have lumberjack, lumberjack mod installed. So I'm pretty sure he does. Sorry, missed that part. It's all good, Jason. It's all good. That's why we have the live chat. Uh, did you get your neighbor straightened out? Oh, the neighbor situation. So she had court. Let's see. Today was her second. Today she had a court date with circuit court. And she had district court last week. 
on last Friday, and she did not go to court. Uh, she did not go to court today. So they got a warrant out on her. There's a warrant out on her. There's a warrant out on her oldest son, and we got a warrant out on the youngest son, which was the one that you guys seen sniffing around my house trying to basically leak the Freon out of my HVAC unit um, because we got them in trouble with their landlords. And, uh, yeah, she's got an FTA. Yep. And, uh, yeah, she basically they're all screwed. Like, I mean, that's just, you know. I mean, they're the typical white trash trash of Kentucky, unfortunately. Um, She just couldn't miss out on her meth runs. She could not do the court today. Unless they haven't put it in the system. Watch Jake's YouTube. It's a diverter. Um, Give me just a second and I'll link it. He's on, I think, Episodes 9 is coming out. On the family, baby. Pretty much, yeah. They Every one of them run uh, the meth, I'm pretty sure. The boyfriend. I know the dad has nothing to do with them anymore. He's a firefighter in this little town that we moved to. And apparently he's, you know, a stand-up guy and everything. And I think that's, you know, she started doing meth. And I probably, that's probably why they got divorced from I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. We know everything there is to know about them. And uh, they have no idea who we are because we're not from around here. And we just moved in and we're getting them in trouble. <laughs> Because I knew as soon as I got a glimpse of him when we came to look at the house, I was like, have you asked about the neighbors? I was like, I've lived around that my whole life. I know exactly what they're doing. You know what I mean? Hang on just a second. Hang on the... You need to borrow my phone? (laughs) <laughs> Hang on just a second. Hang on, guys. She has to use the phone just a moment. For whatever reason.
All right, guys, I'm back. All right, let me catch up the chat now that the missus has uh, she come down and talk some crap about somebody. But anyway, where was I at? Let me go scroll up here before we continue. Uh, Kentucky's uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, thought you bought the dual tires on back. Yes, uh, James at, or says Kentucky is a great state. Hollywood makes it gives it such a bad look. Yeah, they really do. Um, it's not bad. Uh, there's tons of land out here and it's funny and ironic that you know Californians are moving to Kentucky Texas and all that because they think our land's so cheap uh even Katy Perry moved to Kentucky recently uh Gavin if you think about it a between the episodes is like an episode in itself it really is at this point but we still call it between the episodes uh yeah that's only Alabama perfect sorry miss that part I told him that watch Jake's channel uh Jake's channel real quick while I'm looking at chat and I'm off the screen here let me pull it up here here he is Dang, he's already at 779 subscribers I know he hit his watch time so let's get him up here if you haven't subbed to diverter guys and you're in this chat or you're watching this as a replay, go sub to him. I want to get him a 1,000 subs before he goes on his uh, uh, trip with his uh, fiance, which I think they're getting married this year. A couple of us did over there. Oof, the big old FTA on the family baby, one in every crowd. If they do meth, there's no telling what other stuff they, they're into. Yeah, they're definitely doing meth, though, because we smelled it one day as well. It might blow up. Who knows? That's some uh, chili casa. I don't even know how to say that. Ohio stuff right there, says Brian. Did you restart, asked Quentin. Uh, we didn't restart. This is a new map, new series. Uh, never heard of cha an STHL uh, chainsaw idol so well. Bow tied down. It was down. The one time I went through Kentucky, I was asleep in the passenger seat and awoken to some lady honking and flipping me off because the guy driving cut her off that was in Lexington yeah like people in Kentucky are always pissed off <laughs> is this might not work no I was, I was uh the 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 Mrs. Murano was down here uh sinks your mood of the channel truck roll over it yep yeah like and subscribe to Jake's channel he's uh he's getting married this year uh he's always wanted to do gaming YouTube stuff and I finally convinced him to start with uh start a channel and he finally took off with it and he's he's really going and and taking off with it and it's uh he's doing a great job he's a he's a quick learner he's getting it done son getting it done uh it's a live series rags ain't done yet yeah rags ain't done yet the next rags to riches episode will be out tomorrow uh the way the schedule works honestly there's no way i can upload on monday with my current full-time job schedule of the weekends there is there's just no way so it's going to be like record Monday, edit it Tuesday, and then we can do an episode of this either Monday or Tuesday and do an episode of, Re of Red Dead 2 live stream one of those days as well, um, depending on IRL stuff. And then Wednesday, Racks to Riches, and then maybe possibly Wednesday night in between the episodes after the episode goes live at like 12 to 2 p.m. or so. And then Thursday, I have to record and edit in one day uh, the next episode of Rags Riches to have an episode out by Friday. So it's pretty much until I'm able to go full time, if I ever go full time with this, uh, with the way my full job full time job is. It's just whatever and whenever I can do. But that's looking like the current schedule. Uh, new series in the map: Western Wilds. Yep, yep. Uh, what is this? Yeah, it's it's a new live stream series, uh, where like it's instead of the recorded and highly edited, well, not really highly edited, but edited. Oh, I got hiccups. Uh, series of rags and riches with time lapse. Oh, dang, we look at that. Right. Oh shoot, we just chopped up one of our logs on the trailer. All right, get out of there, buddy. Uh, series of Racks to Riches, it's got live commentary, live chat, live interaction. You guys can make live suggestions. It doesn't have to be, you know, uh, you make a comment of a suggestion and I don't see it until I've already gotten two episodes ahead, you know, um, so it's cool. 
Ryan says, hi, uh, catch you later. Got to get some sleep for work tomorrow. All right, Ryan, have a great uh, night and get a good night's rest. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the new series. Definitely uh, watch the rest tomorrow for sure if you don't care. Uh, Chris says, big snowstorm about to hit. It is about to hit. I feel it getting colder. I'm in my studio basement area right now, and I swear it gets so cold. Like My fingertips right now are very cold. It's not even like snow level cold yet outside. That's the crazy thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Hello. Whoa. Hello. Uh. Uh. Something messed up. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, if you wanted attention, saw you in yesterday's live. I was going to say, what up, Corey? Uh, Jay's neighbors got jealous about his YouTube channel, so they started their own and called it Rags the Handcuffs. LL. Like, literally, I think everybody, uh, we don't really know about the boyfriend, but we know he's like, he, he doesn't work. He's home every day, so he's probably the cook. Uh, but we do know that the mother and the two sons, one of them's 19 and one of them's 24, all have warrants. <laughs> Um, the, actually the oldest son, the 24 year old, he just left rehab and they told him if he left, then he would get taken back to jail and he, he left and just showed up <laughs> and we're like, well, and then we looked him up and sure enough, he's got a warrant and we're like, well, <laughs> all right then. Gosh, man, it, they're such a mess. They remind me of shameless right there, except worse. Absolutely crazy. Super strength does that occasionally. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Uh, we're supposed to get about four to six inches. Dang man. Uh, I was gonna make an average joke. That's the average size right there. I think it's like five. Uh. Tornado just hit, Jay. Really, where? I know that there's a high chance of, of tornadoes. Uh, Kevin Hall, y'all guy, uh, I watch him. He's from Eastern Kentucky. I think he's got a live stream on right now. We could pull it up and listen. Because, like, the cold is meeting the hot and instantly snowstorm. It's, like, crazy chances for a NADA. So, yeah. I know it's supposed to get pretty rough. Let's get this small tree while we're here. Teeth to Tooth series. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Welcome to the Teeth to Tooth series where we run meth. <laughs> it's literally my neighbors. That's pretty good. Super speed boost. Hit you in the game. What? Uh, three to ten inches they predicted, so either a little or a lot. Never in between. <laughs> uh, it's a little nasty here in Louisiana. Really, Cody? It's Oh, do we not? Darn it. Also, what's the backstory with this map, Jay? Uh, I explained it in the beginning, but I'll explain it again real quick. Basically, um... So let me just trim up this tree real quick so I can focus and give the backstory. I should have honestly like wrote it down. But the backstory is is like the job I work at, you know, they got a great 401k, 6% match. And the backstory of our character for this map is dang on. Our guy worked at a factory, you know, Fortune 500 company, billion dollar company for 10 years. You know, putting 6% in the 401k, the company matching 6%, put in a solid 10 years. And one day, you know, he just had enough of the corporate red tape BS like I'm currently. Um, <laughs> it's like literally my own story. Um, I'm just not at the 10-year point yet. Uh, he cashed out his 401k, paid the 10% penalty, whatever. And, you know, whatever after that. 
And he basically seen and got told, and, you know, it wouldn't listen on Facebook Marketplace or nothing like that, but he got told that, hey, I got a guy, an older guy, he's wanting to sell some land. It's got plenty of trees and timber on it that you can sell, cut up and sell. Um, we had this paid for 3500 uh, obviously been been reworked and a lot of aftermarket stuff put on it, nice wheels and all that good stuff. Kept in excellent condition, new engines on it, bull crap. Uh, we bought an aluminum trailer with uh, log forks and uh, bought the land. It had a very small barn on it that has simple storage. Uh, and a we, we basically bought a single wide trailer with our 401 cash out there. And uh, we got left over with, uh, let me fill the bow. Uh, we left ourselves with 30K to play around with and put the best, the rest back in our, in a uh, Roth IRA, right? You know, so we started off basically with 30K. Uh, we didn't buy the tractor until we logged a lot of the logs that were here. And we bought this tractor and subsoiler earlier in the episode. But that's the basic backstory. Guy worked 10 years at a factory, putting money in 401K, finally said, F it. I'm quitting and uh, early retired, if you will, and cashed out 401k, bought some land, and now he's selling timber in looks of starting a big farm, which is exactly what I want to do IRL, except I'm doing YouTube on the side. And I, well, I, I have some interest in some land that will that I will inherit, uh, but it's just so messed up because it's spread out between six offspring, my great great. Let's see, my great-great-grandparents willed it. It's a ton of farmland. Willed it to their offspring, six kids. And then the way it's rolled up in the deed and the will is that that goes to their hairs. So literally everybody, like grandchildren, their grandchildren, all that stuff. So like when I get to that point, I'm going to have to buy out everybody else and buy that land that my great-great-grandparents worked their whole lives for. And then I will turn it into a, a farm. A farm! Because nobody else will do nothing with it. Like right now they're deciding if they want to cut up the timber on it. This is IRL talk, not the backstory talk. Um, and my grandma was telling me about it. And uh, she uh, she said the loggers will want, you know, like they're older. They can't do it themselves, obviously. She said the logging company wants 60% and then the 40% gets split up between six people and there's not a whole lot of timber on that land, like not a whole, whole lot. It's like not even going to be worth it. And I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, you guys shouldn't do that, you know, because, you know, I kind of want to do that. <laughs> but no, uh, like I'll have to buy it from six different people. When that time comes, I may just find something out here where I'm living now. I'm like an hour and a half or so away from my hometown. Um, windy and stormy. It's always a little nasty in Louisiana. That's why I love Georgia. Rarely ever any snow. We're thinking of maybe eventually going to Florida, which I think everybody from Kentucky does, I think. <laughs> or at least thinks about it. Um, them poodles, man, says Isaac. Uh, let's see here. Howdy, Jay. Watching from the patrol car here in Houston. Just passing the time at work watching a little rags to riches, LL. That's awesome, Jonathan. Um, it's pretty wild. We have actually a big uh, police force audience. Uh, you're the second person to actually communicate it and tell me that you're watching in your patrol car. It's kind of crazy uh, that we have, I mean, we got a lot of blue line folk uh as part of our community which i think is cool cool as heck man um all right let me catch up the chat i feel your pain cody been cold and rainy all day here in east texas east texas a buddy of mine from work uh just moved to texas he did a switch to an oil refinery um Jake uh, Betancourt says, Love the game, Jay, and the Rags to Riches series. I think you should go for the Case Cotton Picker over the John Deere, just saying. Well, Jake, you know, not to spoil or anything, but we went with a modded version of the Cotton Harvester. So, uh, yeah, we, we've already 
I've already made that decision. I don't want to spoil it. So that'll be in the next episode that you watch. But we, I ended up finding a good mod for it. Um, Corey says, it's good to know it's not just my in-game dog that roams everywhere. Must be getting some from the neighbor's poodle. <laughs> oh, that's why he said dang poodles. That's hilarious. Uh, apparently poodles are like, like actual pure blood poodles are one of the smartest dogs in the world. Apparently. Actually, Jay. <laughs> Ryan says, Do you plan on making this another series or live stream series? Because I would love to see more of this. Yeah, this is going to be our live stream series. And it will only be progressed when we go live with it. So keep that in mind. This is a... Uh, we are full. I'll tell you what. Let's go take this load. And then we'll come back. Uh, but yes, this is a live stream series with live interaction. I do enjoy it. I love the back and forth. I love communicating with you guys. I think it's pretty darn cool. I guess we can put our tailgate up now. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a continued series with the channel. Um, this will be kind of a Rags Riches-esque, but we'll be able to do different things with this series in terms of we're definitely not going with cattle. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> uh, I've had my fill on cattle at this point, for sure. Maybe down the line in FS23, you know, maybe. But, yeah, we're definitely not doing cattle for a while. Start the truck up, please. There we go. Um, Corey says, folks in Florida are crazier than the people in Kentucky. I've heard that. I've definitely heard that, but we'll see. <laughs> Lazy cop, says Jeffrey. Um, Brian says, they have modded case cotton harvesters. The giant square cottons are really nice uh, since you won't have round bells literally everywhere from cotton. Yeah, I think, yeah, we. I can tell you we went with the uh, round bell. Uh, mod and we need a lot more I'll tell you that much but I don't want to say too much more um, after we pick up this log just to move him out of the way honestly we can go ahead and start plowing I believe I believe I do say dang that log went flying I'm just watching where it goes so I know we're running slung it a mile brother hey go get that log right there Two logs. Go get them logs, boy. <laughs> oh, put that log in that trailer, boy. There you go, atta boy. Where's that log at? There it is. Put that in that trailer right there. That's super strength. Come on now. There we go. Ah, yes. Yes. Put the log in the trailer, please. Oh, yes. That's perfect. All right. Let's strap these down and move out of the way. Let's go ahead and plow up our first little field here. Two trees? What do you mean? More than two trees there. It's actually our property line. Like, we don't own the rocks, so we can't really do anything about them. Do, do, do. All right, start him up. Yeah. All right, let's start it right behind the trailer right here. Um, unfold. Allow create fields and lower. Ah, yes. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, you shift them gears. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Things things quick. Quick as lightning, son. Whoa. I'll do. I'll do. All right. Now let's uh, swing this bad boy around. Yeah. 
instead of Q bot, you need a meth bot to fry. Do I know? Instead of a K bot, you need a meth bot to fry. What? I'm confused, brother. Why won't this line up? Just line up. There we go. Hey. I'm gonna go too far over. Do, 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 do. Hey from West Virginia says Norman Cave. Hello from Kentucky. The Kentucky Wildcats. Just kidding. I don't like our. Uh, I've never. Well, besides when John Wall played, that's really the only time I ever got into Kentucky sports. You know. So I can't really. But I did work a ton of that burn Kentucky Wildcat football game. So that's like instilled in my mind. The announcer. I have driven to uh, West Virginia for a uh, load I did when I was trucking. So I've been there. That plow has to be backwards. Yeah, I think we got it backwards, don't we? For sure. Whoa! Bobby, you're going too far! <laughs> um, when you take the road back to the property from the train there's an icon on the right kind of in the rocks what is that i have no idea david uh no idea we'll have to see uh tyler windland says did you stop the fs series no this is a new series uh racks riches will continue going and uh this is just a live series as compared to the racks to riches which is a recorded series so all the progress and everything we do on this series and this map will be live streamed and we'll have live reactions, live commentary, live uh, chat so I can respond to you like I'm doing right now. Um, easy that applies to be backwards. Yeah, it definitely does. What time is the video dropping tomorrow so I can plan break time accordingly? I'm going to try to have it out as soon as possible. I'm going to just wake up in the morning around when whenever my woman goes to work around. I'm going to try to wake up about 6.20 a.m. I'm not going to wake up super early at 4 because when I do that, I get so tired around like 7, 8 o'clock at night. And I, you know, I'll do that on Thursday because I got the dentist appointment so I can record the episode and edit it Friday. But, man, I don't like doing that every day. I hate getting tired around 8 o'clock. Uh, but I would say around noon EST. Uh, that could be a good time to watch out for. That or 2 o'clock. I'll try to aim for 12 if possible if it'll render by then. But the problem is is render time and how fast it can render. Um, I've started not making my videos in 4K resolution. I've started making them in 1440p just to cut down on the file size and the uh, render time because the 4K res takes like six to nine hours depending on how long the episode is. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's definitely backwards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, wait... Uh, Brian says, uh, you don't watch Clutch Simulations on here. I've seen him, but I'll be honest. I don't watch anybody. I have, I do not have time to watch anybody. I mean, I'm just being honest. Occasionally, I like, I'll look up stuff or see something pop up on my homepage, and I'll watch a little bit of it. But, yeah, I don't have time to watch anybody. But I have seen some of his stuff, yeah. This thing sounds so good. All right, we got 63K. We need a cedar, and I know just the one. You already know it's going to be the same one from the Rags Ridges series because it's just too darn good bang for buck. 6K, and you get uh, you get the John Deere 8350. This thing is so good. So good. We're just going to start off with one for now. Um, we're also going to buy some seeds. I uh, can't remember how many. We'll buy four for now. Just look how much faster we're able to pick up and go with this series as compared to uh, the Racks to Riches. Just because I know what I'm doing now and uh, what direction to go. Good old farm all. Yep, the 
farm all is I still have that mod definitely I have it installed on the community server as well I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will be driving that thing around I'm positive oh look they got a tree cut down right there oh there goes the train wait I want to see it eh. yes oh check that out oh wait I need a screenshot I need a screenshot <laughs> right there yes that'll be a good thumbnail what do you think of those camera skills son getting better a lot to, a lot faster than the rags riches first field huh oh man gosh yeah that tiny plow I'm telling you, well, that the beginning of Rags of Riches was a grind, man, because I was also learning the game at the same time, and now I got a little bit of experience under my belt, and you guys have also helped with that. But, man, oh, man, can you guys imagine when we get this full field right here planted to something, this full flat area? Ooh, ooh, can't wait. Can't wait. But, yeah, like, holy crap. Tyler said, don't mess with my emotions, Jay. I was nervous. Oh, that I ended the series. Yeah, just all of a sudden, cold turkey. Yeah, guys, the rags riches is over. I'm sure somebody's going to take this out of context and somebody's just joined like, <gasps> what? <laughs> no. Uh. Go ahead and get a fertilizer spreader and some lime and fertilizer. We do need to do that, don't we? I don't know if we have enough money, though. We might, actually. Uh, yeah, that one. We had a, a fertilizer spreader, that cheap one we had, didn't we? Wasn't it like the lizard one? Yeah, this one. Yeah, all right, we'll get that one while we're, well, we can only, can th that hook up to the side of the John Deere uh, cedar? I think it can, can it? We'll try. Brooks says you should make like 20 to 30 minute summaries of these live streams and post them. Uh, I mean, I could. Um, is it really necessary though? I'm not sure. Well, we just disconnected for a second, and reconnected. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> Brian said, I was waiting for Jay to axe TikTok. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. Oh, dang, look, there's an old tractor over there. Hmm. Let's go explore this farm for a second. I know it's like, you know, taken away from our progression, but. What is that tractor? Look at this old abandoned farm. It's got trash on it and everything. Meh. How could somebody abandon their farm, bro? Oh, it's got little honey, uh, little bee hives over there. Ooh, look at this old barn. That's pretty neat. Check that out. Oh, it's not dry. Yeah, it's just decoration. Uh, well, there's a gold nugget, but I'm not going to take it. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to take that. But there's a collectible, and that'll give you money. But I'm not. No, yeah, we're not going to. We're not going to take the easy way out. I don't know what kind of tractor that is. You might know what that is. But yeah, yeah, Brian. I did think about axing TikTok really hard, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to lower the quality and chop the episodes up into like five, six, seven minutes. They'll get less views, less exposure because uh, retention won't be as high as like a two minute video. And uh, yeah, Logan, I don't really want to move there because that's what everybody does with this map. You know, we'll get it when we get it, but I'm not going to make that a goal. Let's make sure we save real quick. Uh, 50K sitting there, pal. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it's, it's just too, too much. I feel like I didn't earn it. You know? I feel like I didn't earn it. But yeah, we'll get that when we get that, but I'm not going to make that our goal to save up money and get that. Used to work for a dairy that had that same Farmall Super H uh, for working tobacco, and it is equally as slow IRL. Yeah, there's one for sale near me. Uh, it's not a bad price either, and they use it as a parade uh, tractor like to this day and I, I seriously thought about buying it because that would be pretty cool would it not the tractor that started this YouTube channel pretty much got it up off the ground 
Yeah, if it's lagging for you guys, refresh. Uh, because I looked over at OBS and the notification said disconnected, and then it immediately said reconnected. So I haven't dropped any frames on OBS, but I did get that notification. I think, uh, I don't know, could be internet throttling. Good old wind stream because that's the only thing out here. It is uh, gig internet, but, you know, it's wind stream, so there's that. But yeah, Brooks, uh, we may make a 20 to 30 minute summary. I don't know if it would take 20 to 30 minutes, but uh, I could definitely, if I have the time or if I, if I hire an editor, that would be an option. And speaking of, if you guys are watching live or watching this as a recording, have editing experience and have it a portfolio, uh, send that over. Because I'm definitely debating, even if it comes out of my own pocket, for my full-time job i mean there's only so much of me that i can spread so thin you know what i'm saying and i'm doing a lot and these big youtubers like cut clutch simulations uh dag one definitely dag one like they all have thumbnail designers you know like they have people that do this for them um I'm doing everything myself, which most YouTubers do starting out. I did have an editor that I could reach out to that I had for my IRL channel, and he's he's pretty good. Um, he wasn't bad price-wise, uh, but uh, I don't know. I might reach back out to him, see what, if he wants to take this on. He does do a really good job or he did with the IRL stuff but this is kind of a different beast because it's like you know when do you cut ahead when do you not you know it's like what do you include when I'm just rambling on do you cut that out do you not let's see I already got that um can we if we pull this out wait there's also a hookup in the middle isn't, it? isn't there let's buy this right here Standard wide dies. Um, pink lid, beige, green, 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 black, red, um, white with red, mm, rim color, red, you forty five hundred. Okay, we have enough. Uh, the stream just started lagging. Hard. Okay, uh, dang, we lost like 42 people. Yeah, I would say refresh, uh, and I'll type it. Refresh if you're lagging. There we go. Big bags. I think it, don't, it might only take one bag of line. I can't remember. Doom, 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 doom. Are you running precision farming on this one? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah, we are. I just haven't bought the... There's our shovel. I haven't bought the, uh, the land data yet, which we can do that now that we have a field. So I'll go ahead and do that too. I should be able to hook this up, right? Ah, you see, you see. Look at that, look at that. Heck yeah. Boop. Putting that 1586 to wake. <laughs> hey. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's get back to the house. Or the farm, I should say. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Pulling it like a champ, dude. Oh, let me go ahead and buy the farm data while uh, you said that. Click, click. Can I do it? Hello? Click, 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 click. Why can't I do it? I guess I can't do it. Hmm. I thought I had it enabled. Hmm. Would be cool to use this for experimenting with different equipment and ideas. Less important, the goal of earning money and more 
with just showing equipment and basically uh, test driving stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. I have some uh, mod showcase videos I want to do of uh, some one of ones that I purchased. Uh, it's like 46 bucks a piece for like one of them was the Chevy 3500. I bought that for 46 bucks. And uh, I bought a, a few more that I want to showcase on the channel. It's, you know, I know that it's against like their terms or whatever, terms of service or whatever. But, uh, man, if I can pay somebody to make a one of one great quality mod, I'll do it all every day of the week. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's cool. Um, I've spent a lot more on games like League of Legends for pixels. So, yeah. <laughs> Potatoes, like you were saying, or something else. You need to click on your plot. I was clicking on it, yeah. There was no option. What are you going to plant? I have no idea yet. Uh, potatoes. Gavin recommended. Uh, we could do that. Uh, oh, you recommend? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I can dig it up with a shovel. I didn't look. Let me let me look at that real quick. Uh, what did I find that under? Misc. Ah. Uh, um. Yeah. It looks like it can dig up potatoes now i wonder is this is this to dig them up or is this to is this to plant them i'm get oh look carrots what carrots hello what Ooh. oh i did download maze plus so we have uh, maze plus now yeah, we might do potatoes first i don't i'm not sure if actually this can plant potatoes because this is a cedar i can't remember Uh, Brian says, tell me a harvester, tractor, or truck you want tuned in game, and I'll send you a tuned version. Um, I mean, I can't think of one off the top of my head necessarily, but, oh man, I started yawn. Coffee's wearing off. Um, but when I, like, come up with something, I'd say you'll be watching it too. I'll be like, hey, hey, this one right here, you know. But yeah, that's, uh. I also need to get our Discord put together for the community. Dang, I got so much to do. Gosh. So much to do. I need to release our crossplay server, and then I need people to let me know if it works or not for console because it on the icon it says PC only, but I've only installed mods that are under the crossplay label, and I checkmarked crossplay is enabled, and it let me do that. So... I'll have to get some feedback from uh, you guys whenever you join that crossplay server. We could actually release it and bring it up tonight, even though a lot of you guys are probably like, no, I'll never go to bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the problem is that the reason why I don't want to release it just yet is because I think everybody starts out with like six million. And if that happens, everybody can just like one person could buy up all the land. You know what I mean? And uh, I need to edit that to where. Everybody starts off with like, you know, 100K or something. Uh, the unrealistic header was the Fint Duraflex. 40, 40 meter or 40 foot? I can't remember. 44, I think. I did see the power flow. No, that's a, I think that's a different one, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> We're coming around the bridge. Half of the machinery was hanging off. All right, we're getting started. In there like swimwear. Boop. All right, well, I guess first, should we lime it, I suppose? Oh, well, hit the dog. Dog's dead. Whoa, we had a lag spike there. Dang, 102 people. 103 people. Crazy. Uh, you did farm. I started with 1.5 mil. I think that might be what it's set to. I guess I should set it to start from scratch. Because then you start with like, what, 500k? But I wish I could like manually set it. You know what I mean? Alright, let's uh, do some course play action here. And uh, before we do that, let's save. Because I'm not confident that it won't crash. This being a new map, I'm not, you know... 
confident enough in this map just yet. Create job, CP field work, field position, and this pro I mean, this one's tiny, 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 tiny. So tiny. Three meter work with, working tools, number of headlands, I guess two. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, whoops, I did uh, smooth. All right, this will probably be more, maybe four. Dang. Looks like you could do four headlands. All right, uh, Brian, any new tips that we could do? Oh, man, I can't stop burping on this uh, this little bitty plot. Hmm. Four looks like it'll work, though. Let's see what, maybe three? Uh, Corey says, yeah, and I'm not a good farmer manager, so I downloaded the government subsidies mod and slept and woke up with like 35 mil. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> That's wild, man. Um, I guess we'll do three for now. All right, let's hit the delete key. And first waypoint, current waypoint, all waypoints. And then we'll do hire worker. There you go, brethren. Take the wheel. Man, that's a lot. Of, man, course play is so nice. It is so nice. <laughs> uh, uh, Richie Lucas says, I can't figure out why I enjoy watching you play this game more than I enjoy playing it myself. I couldn't tell you, my man. Um, uh oh, I'd say we're gonna run into this. Uh, we're gonna run into our mobile home here. Maybe, maybe not. Probably. Yeah, blocked by an object. Yep. Yep. I figured that would happen. I don't know, man. Uh, I try to be entertaining, so maybe I entertain you enough to watch here. I don't know. You know. Run right up that fence, boy. Couldn't tell you. Look at you go. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, I'm getting the hang of it, for sure. Um, the basics, anyway. Holy crap. That turned very hard. Get the truck and move your house. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Yeah, I'm going to. What we'll do is we'll, like, delete it and then reinstall it. I guess that would be probably the best thing to do. All right, and then we'll hit uh, delete nearest waypoint and higher and then let's pull this back to current waypoint there we go that way it's not as messy on the screen there man course play is just so nice but uh, i'm glad i entertain you enough to uh or at least make it interesting enough for you to like watching me because then that means that who knows i might be able to do this full time one day, you know, get out of the factory life, you know. Uh oh, I hear my woman, she got up. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, sir. All right. Now, while this is happening, let's hop out and let him do his thing. Um, let's go over to the truck and let's get back to logging a little bit so we can expand our field. Gosh, I hate that when it triggers my mouse cursor, it locks up my camera and I have to hit my middle mouse wheel to disable it. Um, let's go ahead and chop down these trees while we're here. Uh, Corey says, hey, Brian, how come your name is a different color than everyone else's? I think because he's a member, maybe. I don't know. Wait, you're a member too, aren't you? I don't know. Wait. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's because he's a member, yeah. 
Um, I guess I could put the link in chat because I know for it's it's janky. If anybody wants to become a member and support us here, yes. Got to get to the tippity top of the mountain. The tippity top. There's only one way to get there. That's to put in the wake. I'm not trying to sound like a narc. I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> First time I've managed to catch one of your lives, says James Davies. Well, welcome to the live stream. I appreciate you making out to one. And uh, hang out with us here. I enjoy the back and forth and communicating with the chat, um, with the community we built here. I think uh, this is definitely one of the better communities because on my IRL channel, it's just a, an absolute uh, crap show for sure. You know what I'm saying? I think I pissed off a lot of people over there. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Like this channel, you know, it's like entertainment-esque. And uh, on that channel, it's like, hey, uh, like just roasts whoever. <laughs> Ooh, this channel's definitely got the better community of the two. But I appreciate you. Wait, I'm a member too. If you close live chat and look under his stream picture, you'll see a join button. I went on Patreon and found his profile and joined. So that's Patreon, uh, Corey. So that's YouTube memberships. I thought about turning it off. But YouTube membership is different than Patreon. And I, I can't, like there's no way to integrate Patreon to show that and give you chat benefits here if you're subscribed on Patreon, unfortunately. I did try to look for that, and unfortunately that is not an option. I can, however, do that with like Discord. I can include the Patreon there. So you're a member on Patreon, which I appreciate, of course. But YouTube membership, all that is is just, all that is is YouTube chat benefits. You get a little icon that starts out as an, a, an egg, which your next your second month it turns into a baby chick it hatches basically and then it goes all the way up to like a diamond chicken I believe after twelve months I think it's pretty wild uh, I bought a little little package that I threw together just a little something and you get uh, custom emotes on YouTube all that good stuff if that's worth it to you. Uh, Richard, sorry, a little late. New map. Yep, this is a new map. Uh, Western or uh, yeah, Western Wilds. Can I please hit the stump? No. Get it. All right. Never mind. We'll just take care of this tree first. Uh, new map. New backstory. New series that is going to be a live series instead of the recorded series like the Rex Riches series. Why can't I get that? Why? Tell me why. Ah, we found the sweet spot. <laughs> no tree shall live. Uh. Uh, ah. Did you get a Discord, Jay? Uh, not yet. I haven't got it set up. Um, I have one set up for my IRL channel, so I know how to do it. I just have to take the time and actually make it a priority to make this community a Discord so everybody can join up and chat and all that good stuff and uh, play online together once we have our community servers up and all that good jazz. I just need to do it. But not yet. Oh, 
Oh, it's totally different then, Ella. I didn't know if you were integrated together or not. Yeah, they're not integrated. Unfortunately, they don't allow that. Jeffrey says AI is, the AI is stuck. Oh, great. He is, ain't he? Thanks for letting me know. Darn it. We're definitely going to have to move the uh, trailer back. Um, doesn't YouTube take the lion's share of the loot from your membership? So they do, and that's the drawback of it. But if people want to support that way, I, I, that's why I left it turned on. Is because we had members and people want to become members on YouTube. Uh, Patreon only takes, I believe it's... I think it's 5% or something. It's something super low, and I get like 95% of the cut of like, say you subscribe for $5 a month. YouTube takes, I think it's, is it, it's 45%. Yeah, they, gosh, this thing turns so hard. But yeah, YouTube takes 45% of everything that I bring in. Super Chats, um... Super chance. There we go. Let's line it back up. Let's get this set up real quick. Higher. Boom. Done. Uh, super chats, memberships, all that stuff. So, yeah, it's like 45% or something like that. And I get 55, I think. Which is still the best out of all the platforms, believe it or not. It's pretty wild. Mine's green, too. Um... So, yeah, I mean, Patreon supporters, I get more of the cut, but if you want the benefits on YouTube, you know, that's fine. Um, it's completely fine. It's just whichever you prefer. Uh, both support is great uh, either way. You know what I'm saying. Uh, Derek Fisher says, hey, uh, seen your video on TikTok. I'm new. Welcome to the live stream, Derek Fisher. I appreciate you... Uh, uh, liking the series, I suppose, if you found me on TikTok and joining here for a live stream of some farming simulator, a new series, a new live series that I'm doing here on the YouTube channel. Is the first server full? No, I think we only have like five or six people that are going to be on it. So, yeah, it's definitely not full. It's a 16 slot, and obviously I'll be one of the slots. Um, for the first crossplay server. All right, he's set up. Let's go back and continue forth, shall we? Jesse says, "Welcome to the community, Derek. Hope you enjoy." It. Yep, welcome to the community. Welcome to the community. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, Casey says, "Like back in a lawnmower trailer, pretty much. Yeah, it's like backing up the uh, drum trailer at work. It's freaking." rough with a little track thing a little three-wheeler a little I don't know what to call it PTE it's weird uh, is there another tree piece of log here there it is I knew they were there somewhere um, Brian says I'm waiting for the PC only server yeah I'll get that up you know obviously as soon as we get the 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 amount of supporters to support two servers. Um, not that I couldn't afford it out of my own pocket, which I may do anyway if we don't get any more supporters for it. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Just subscribed. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. He's a slot. What? <laughs> uh. Whoa. Uh, Matthew Nee says, "Do I do I have to join Patreon to get on the server? I support here on YouTube. Unfortunately, Matt. Yes. Um." The reason is, is YouTube doesn't give me your email address um, for whatever reason. And Patreon gives me your email address. So to be able to whitelist you on the server, you, you have to subscribe on Patreon so I can get your email to whitelist you on the server. You know what I'm saying? So 
unfortunately, that's just the only way that we can do it. Uh, there's no way for me to get your info from YouTube. They will. They do not like giving out their quote customers. Is this guy stuck again? Hold up. We gotta move the house. That yeah. That's that's not good. Let's move the house. We may be without a house for a moment. Yes, seventy-five hundred. All right now. All right. <laughs> Farmhouses. Of course, it's fifteen grand to replace it. What do you mean? <laughs> Overlaps with another object. What are you overlapping with, my dude? Uh. Well, I guess we're moving our house to over here. Right here will be fine. Okay. Now we're going to move Fido. I'm about to move that again to for the barn unless we back in there every time but oh well had to happen <laughs> ma someone stole the house true matt says i better do it then i mean yeah if you want access to that crossplay server that that unfortunately is the only way to do so i think your ai is stuck again yep we took care of it using mods right oh yeah pretty much everything i use is for the most part mods um I think this game without mods, it's okay, but man, that could get boring very, very quick. Playing on my PS5 right now. I do too, Corey. Wait, what, Corey? Said. So, am I the only person that plays on console here? I'm pretty sure the majority of the community, I'm pretty sure, not just us, but like, I want my mouse to disappear. All right, let's save the game real quick. What the heck is going on? Get off the screen. There we go. Oh. Now I can move my camera. Good to know I'm alone. It gets boring. George Gomez says it gets boring on console. Wish I had a PC. Highly recommend you make the switch for sure. I'm just telling you. PC is where it's at. I'll like since 2012 I've been on PC and I'll never go back. And I was hardcore PlayStation all the way, you know. And I made that switch and I'll never go back. It's just well worth the money. I think my first PC build was like four hundred ish dollars, and I built it myself. It's pretty well. These both are eight meters a piece. That'll work. Uh, Jake says this is a new season. Just saw this. You doing rags to riches anymore? Everybody's asking. That. Everybody's like, huh, what happened? Uh, yeah, this series is going to be a live stream only series, like no recorded episodes, like Rags to Riches, for example, with the recorded, the time lapses, like this is going to be a live interactable series that people can also watch as recordings. It will just have, you know, no edits or anything like that. And obviously the episodes will be longer, but, um just is the way of it being a live series and it's going to be on a different map different taste different flavor um different setups different productions it's going to be different so it's like springing new life into the channel if you will that's the way i think about it heck yeah just trying to save up and get one yeah man it's worth it though uh, Casey says, I ain't smart enough for a PC. Too many buttons and too easy to mess up. No. Like, it's so simple, man. It really is. Um, we, I recently, like, my PC building live stream that we did, everything went about as horrible as it could go. Faulty equipment and everything. 
And uh, but I mean, you can buy pre-built. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, it's just a keyboard. You hook up your controller. I play this game with both keyboard and mouse and controller. You can hook up your Fanatec wheel or Thrustmaster wheel. Like it's honestly console is just a cheap PC that somebody threw together that you have to upgrade every every few years. Um, PC like I've had this PC, gosh. And it still runs games in 4K. I've had this since, well, like 2018, 2019, whenever the 2080 Ti come out. So I've had it a while, and it's still going, you know what I mean? It can play all the new games, come out at least 1440p. Playing on my Walmart PC, oh, God. I think, actually, Walmart, I think they're getting better about what they sell there. But, yeah, I would recommend going with NZXT for sure. If you go pre-built. And I really need to reach out to them because I'm not sponsoring anyway. But I advertise the heck out of them so far. But if I went pre-built, I would probably go with them for sure. But I just like building my own. I think it's cool. It's cool, man. Thanks for the good content. I'm here for it all. Heck yeah, Jake. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Apex is good, right? Apex is not good. <laughs> what other games do I play? Um, well, I play this, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I basically play, I've played pretty much all games. I used to play a little bit of Call of Duty. I don't anymore. I just can't do it anymore. Um, Escape from Tarkov. Um, huh. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what you're. Yeah, you can play on PC with controllers. Um, you literally just plug and play. Like I'm playing with the PlayStation Four controller right now. <laughs> like this right here, these movements are mouse and keyboard. I drive with my PlayStation Four controller, so just keep that in mind. Let's see. These are going to be about six each. It's going to be an odd even. But uh, other game, I mean, I play everything, man. It's just whatever I'm enjoying at the moment. Skyrim, Fallout, Red Dead, um, Need for Speed. I played Call of Duty Marvel for 2, didn't like it. Uh, the old Marvel for 2 is what I'm I'm waiting for the remasters of everything, um, including other games. I mean, I, I just play everything, pretty much. I have actually played everything that I can think of. Uh, well, good thing you say that, Jeffrey, because I actually do do that. <laughs> we have episode 2 out of our Rags to Riches uh, I remember Midnight Club too. Yeah, I remember that as well. Uh, we have our Rags to Riches uh, Escape from Tarkov series up right now. There's only two episodes, but like that game's getting worse and worse. I don't know if I can keep doing it. I don't know if I can keep playing it. It used to be so good. It's just getting worse and worse. It's like getting less fun to play to me, and I don't know if I can keep playing it. Any more happening on Rain Sim? I have not played it since the recording. Um, so I don't know. Uh, that'll just be whenever I can type of series. We need that Yellowstone live now. <laughs> Yellowstone live. I dig it. Yeah, that game's interesting. It's just, I don't know. You should not do Rags to Riches style on this game. I mean, we've already started it. I'm saying use money is too hard. Yeah, we already started it. Like, our first episode was literally nothing but dying. That's, I mean, we died every, to scavs. Because that's when they had scavs turned up. And they just headshotted everybody at the beginning of the wipe. And we were just getting, I mean, straight up annihilated. Because we were also hunted. And it was quite literally probably the worst wipe start I've ever seen in terms of my own experience. But we were starting with literally nothing but a knife. And it was rough. They were just straight up running for us through walls and everything. 
<clears throat> Jesse says, I bought a built one. It seems to be doing good. The wife says it plays uh, Sims good. I haven't dug into it much yet. What's up, Liquid? What's up, Liquid? What is up? They wanted you dead. Uh, Matt says, can you check for me to see if I just joined your Patreon? Don't know if it worked. I'm not sure. Let me look for you real quick. Got to log out of this one. And log in to this Patreon. Sign in. Sign in. There we go. All right, let's switch over to the creator profile and notification. Yep, Matt Knee pledged. Gotcha. Yep, got you down. Now, all you have to do is look for a Patreon post, and I'll probably be able to tag you. Uh, or I'll, I'm also going to send out emails to everybody's email as well. Yep. I'll also send out an email with the uh, server name and password as well. Oh. But, yep, I got you down, Matt. I appreciate it. And you will get the information for the server. Uh, there goes the OnlyFans. Derek says, is your PC liquid-cooled or air-cooled? So the CPU is an AIO. It's liquid-cooled. And the uh, I have not got my GPU liquid-cooled. But the next PC I build, uh, the $6,000 one, it will definitely be liquid-cooled. You can say Jeff. Uh, we friends here. LOL. <laughs> Jeff. 11 patrons. Yep. We're getting there. We are getting there. There we go. Need 9 meters. AI is done. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know. Let's see, these should be eight and eight. Yep, right down the middle. All right, let's go grab the AI and switch over to... Oh. Switch over to the cedar now. Well, you missed a whole row right here. Well, I guess I didn't. Oh, I guess it didn't need it. Maybe, I don't know. It's not working. That's weird. Hmm. That's real weird. We also need to move our wheelbarrow, don't we? We'll park this by the creek. That creek's pretty neat, I ain't gonna lie. Park it by the creek, man. How do you cut those so even? Uh, yeah, we have a tape measure of sorts. Uh, there's a measuring tool to cut them to the length. Yeah, it's like in your F1 menu or your help menu, I should say. All right, now let's move our wheelbarrow first. All right, let me move my wheelbarrow out of the way, guys. <laughs> All right, hold on, guys. Hey, let me move my wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I don't know why. It's so weird seeing myself third person. Hang on, guys. Let me let me let me move my wheelbarrow, guys. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta go backwards. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my gosh, everybody's smile is is pretty good. All right, set that back down. Pretty neat, though. Uh, what are we planning first, uh, said Brandon Turner. 
Well, that's a good question. Let's see what we can plant. Uh, wheat. Barley, I believe. Oats. Uh, da, 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 da. Canola. Soybeans. Okay, oh. Hmm. All right. Sorghum. Oil seed. Radish. Grass. Wheat. Okay, so. Hmm. What do we do here, guys? Do we go grass and just buy, like, a zero turn or something? I think that would be neat. Why so serious with the wheelbarrow? Oh, it's, it's just funny. It's pretty funny. Um, I can hear Chris Farley screaming now about you living in a van down by the river. Uh, yep, it's pretty good. Uh, Derek Fisher, I watch Austin Farmer. He does Farm Sim. I have heard of him, um, but I haven't seen anything from him. Uh, Corey says, do radishes. What is the... <laughs> what is the difference between grass and oilseed radish? Like, is there anything specific or special about this do i have to have anything specific or special to harvest this like something new yeah it's something new um but can i harvest it with like a zero turn or a regular lawnmower or like how do you does it take a harvester because if it takes a harvester that's going to be a while you know what i mean whereas like a zero turn won't be that long and then we could uh we could get like i don't know or shovel or a rake to uh, oil seed you can't harvest? What do you mean? Can't harvest. What do you mean? Radish is a root crop. Oh. It turns in into fertilizer, just keeps the field fresh. Oh, got it. Brandon says, currently planting winter wheat for my Iowa Plains farm while watching you. That's awesome, Brandon. David says, radish is more for fertilizer. You plow it back in. Oh, gotcha. Leo says, cover crop. Gotcha. So then we, yeah, we wouldn't want to do that. Um... Hmm... So I guess, I mean, we could do grass, right? Because we can't afford a harvester, definitely. And grass, we could maybe look up a zero turn or something and then shoot for a zero turn. Because we're going to be logging for a little bit. Um, and harvesters... Hmm. I mean, these are expensive. Holy what? 355k. Whew, Lord. Son. Dang, man. Yeah, we're gonna... It's gonna be a while. Sunflowers. Sunflowers. Can we even do that? I don't think we, can, we have that option, do we? Do we have that option? No, we don't have... I have some flowers up. Those are forage. Yeah, those are forage. I was looking at them for grass, possibly. Um, hmm. 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 We are at 80. Ooh, that's a, that's a little, little thing. We'll find a good mod, though, for that. Um... <laughs> Mm, let's look at Baylor's. I think I had that one mod, maybe. That we had on the other series that was pretty cheap. Hmm. 
So many bailers. Ah, here it is. So we could start out with this this baler right here, and uh, but that would be like literally what we did on Rags Ridge. We could start out with one of these and do bigger square bales shaft with a forage harvester. Then you could do corn with a forage harvester. Could we? Shaft. Could do shaft. Yeah, I have a cedar, not a planter. Yeah, we can't plant corn. Yeah, we don't we don't have a planter, unfortunately. How much are our planters? I mean we can afford this one if we wanted to do uh planting. But then there's the task of saving up to buy a forge harvester, you know what I'm saying? I think we do grass um, at the start just because it's easiest and buy zero turn. I think that would be neat. Let's see here. Let's go to Escape Arena. Uh, click, click, create job. Field position. Target position. Open. Uh, headlands to generate. Ah, there we go. Much better. Close, close, boom, and then delete, and then higher. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's go first, higher. There we go. Now, <laughs> K brand. Uh, Jay will say the word. I will say the word for sure. It's crazy that you have to like watch that close to what you say on YouTube. It's so crazy nowadays. We live in a feeling world. You can hurt somebody's feelings, unfortunately. That's just how it goes, I guess. The small massy square baler. Silage though. Corn silage. Yeah, we could we'll get into that. We'll we'll definitely get into that. For sure, I'd like to do. Uh, why? What is it blocked from? It's not blocked by anything. What do you mean? Uh, we'll definitely get in that for sure. But uh, it's a simpler one. Lo, it's pronounced like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, brand. That's crazy, man. You can't say the actual name brand. Is it crazy? Is it not crazy? crazy me man so what we'll do I think because it's now 1130 and I'm gonna get up at 630 or like six o'clock is uh, we'll plant this field I'm gonna hit the alt zero key to uh, have this go lightning speed and uh, hopefully this guy finishes pretty quick planting some grass and uh, then we can close it out there <clears throat> because I'm going to get up early. I do like this series, though, um, as compared to the Rags of Riches because I can have back to, back and forth with you guys. You know what I mean? I do like this series. I thoroughly enjoy it, for sure. <laughs> oh, Jake just replied to my comment on his video. I, I said... Uh, looking like you're at the top of the barrel already and he said uh at the tippy top of the mountain and only halfway up <laughs> uh, some hints toward dr disrespect there nascar style planting heck yeah man nascar style planting for sure look at that old classic work yes sir YouTube, yeah, they don't like it for whatever reason. It's just everybody's touchy feely these days. Uh, Leo says, "Woo, love the channel. I appreciate it, Leo. Glad to have you. Glad you like it. Glad to have you on the live and watching the videos. Another live stream tomorrow," says Logan. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got. I mean, 
possibly. So we could have two options. Well, three options because there could be no live stream, right? Um, there could be, you know, no live stream if I'm just wanting to chill out, hang with the, uh, the misses and all that good stuff. Or there could be this, another episode of this tomorrow, live streamed. There could be a between the episodes because tomorrow's episode releases tomorrow. And then I'm only going to do between the episodes, actually between the episodes. That way you guys don't get spoiled. You know what I mean? Um, it just depends. <laughs> You're going to blow that ro the rod out, that tractor going that fast. Yeah, probably. It'll be all right. <laughs> so this old beast has got some more left in her. Be all right. Uh, and then Thursday definitely can't be a live stream Thursday because Thursday is going to be like wake up early, uh, record, and then edit. And then go to bed for work Friday because I still have that full time job I gotta go to on Friday. And then you guys will get the next episode of Rags to Riches on Friday while I'm at work. So that is options. I mean, we could do another episode of this depending on what I'm feeling. I mean, I like that there's something new. I'm enjoying this. I enjoy. I mean, I enjoy spending time with you guys and. Uh, a new spark of life for the series here with this series. Uh, so we may do this tomorrow night, maybe. We'll see. Uh, did you ever go see what the icon in the rocks was by the train? I had to step away for a bit. Yeah, uh, no, we have not. I have not had the chance to. Uh, Preston says, man, I'm just getting here. Where's rags to riches? Question mark, question mark. Man, that question keeps coming up. Uh, no, it's not gone. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I'm starting a new series that's going to be sort of rags to riches. We have a different backstory. Definitely go back and watch the beginning of this uh, live stream after we go offline here after this field gets planted or seeded, I should say. Um, different backstory, different starting situation, different map, but it's going to be live stream only. So I have back and forth with you guys, I have live commentary with you guys. Uh, I think it's it, it, so far it's turned out to be a great uh, decision and series because I enjoy talking with you guys and having input and uh, not having to wait on your guys' comments and stuff. It's pretty cool. And you guys can have input on what we do on this. I think it'll be neat and all that good stuff. Uh, Corey said, Pistons to Jesus. That's right. Send it. Uh, Leo says, bro, work. Yeah, yeah, I know. But the way I see it is at least I only have to work on weekends so far unless they force me to come in through the week because we are coming out of our slow season, unfortunately, which that will just mess up everything, and that will suck so hard. Uh, Jesse says, Matthew, you're going to blow up people's hearts. <laughs> I know this. Yeah, it's like. I, who knows? Uh, I haven't seen Preston reply yet, and the viewers are dropping for whatever reason, and uh, I'm guessing people are getting up. Oh, there he is. I was like, he probably was like, well, have this. I mean, <laughs> uh. Rock solid. Went my whole day yesterday and today with no episode. Yeah, that's another thing that, uh, wait, why is our dude like, dang, he swung that so hard right there. Um, I was going to say, and I said it earlier in the live stream, uh, there's just no way that I can record and have an episode up on Mondays. There, there's just no way. Um, from where I work, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I mean, there's just no way. No possible way. Um, I could definitely have an episode out on Tuesday, but what I basically have been doing is Monday I record, and then today on Tuesday I edit, which I haven't got the chance to edit today, um, but I'm going to do that in the morning and have the episode ready to release by Wednesday uh, noon or a little after, hopefully. Um, but pretty much guarantee Rags Rich episodes on Wednesdays and Fridays uh, unless something happens. Uh, but now that we're incorporating this live stream, uh, we could do that on Tuesday nights, uh, possibly Wednesday nights after Rags Rich's episodes. And just whenever I have work days off on the weekends, it really just depends. Um, but so we're going to have plenty of content. But Monday and Tuesday, 
in particularly Monday, is going to be probably nothing. I mean, I just can't. There's no way. And, I mean, obviously the weekend. I release on Friday, but Saturday, Sunday, unless I have something else recorded um, and, and edited and stuff that I've had extra time to do, there's just no no way until I go full-time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the full-time job does take up a lot of time. And, like, 12 hours a day, you know, it's like I come home and I don't have uh, – Uh, it's like I don't have, uh, I come home, eat, shower, I pretty much have time to go back to sleep and wake up for the next day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bo says, what's going on? Love the mix-in of lives, even if I don't catch them to watch back the next day. Uh, not much. We're, we started a new Rags to Riches-esque series. It's on the the map, uh, Western Wilds. It's a different map. It's a different backstory. Uh, David says, well, I'm off here. Have a good night, Jay and chat. Catch y'all next time. All right, David, peace out. Uh, we're finished work, but we're going to touch up where he missed here. Um, before we head off as well. There we go. Get it touched up. And he missed a spot down here. It feels just simply a little bit too small, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, make sure you guys smash that like button for me, uh, to get this out to more folk. I appreciate that. Uh, there we go, lift it up. And Richard says, you work nights, question mark? No, I, I work a day shift weekend. So, 6 o'clock to 6.30 in the evening. Fortunately. Gosh, I hated working third shift. Night shift is just... I'll never, and I vowed that I would never work a night shift job again. I don't care if I have to live out of a box. You know what I'm saying? Not happening. Never again. I will actually live out of a cardboard box before I do that again. All right, well, we've got uh, that done. Let's back up and turn around here a little bit. A little mobile home. Let's turn him off. All right. Night shift is amazing. Used to work midnight, noon, offshore. Yeah, I just can't. I can't do it. I don't know. I felt like pure garbage. Yeah. Night shift's just pure garbage. Like, you talk about... Man. I... It was like melatonin, um, melatonin, uh, energy drinks, and hardcore fasting because I never ate like 16 8 fasting uh, cycles and 10 to 12 hour shifts. I felt absolutely terrible. The worst time of my life. I would dare say, work-wise. Awful. Uh, did not shift in a gravel pit for two years and also said never again would I do nights. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will do second shift, back shift, before I do third shift, like graveyard shift. Can't do it. Won't do it. Just won't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Corey says, now uh, you just need a rake, a fluffer, and a bailer. Um, let's see. Let's write down a list, I suppose. I got a list of companies to reach out to. I got a list of YouTube videos to make. Let's do a list of live series things to get here. Why well, I still got you guys on here. Um, so we need, uh, I think we got... I mean, we've got a good baler, right? We could just do grass bales, literally, for a while, if we so choose. We could do hay, but I mean, you know. Um, but like right here, you know. I mean, we got to these two guys. Do we have this one on the Rags Ridges, or is it this one? 
think it's the other one. Yeah, I don't think we have this one. But uh, we could definitely just go with this guy and just do grass bells starting out. That is a thing. Night shift is for a special breed. I don't think it's for a special breed. I think it's just people just doing what they got to do, unfortunately. Because you know, like, I mean, how could you choose, you know, night shift over having a normal life? You know what I'm saying? With first shift. I mean, you just can't. Preston said, uh, the worst part is getting off and trying to sleep with the sun shining bright out. So much melatonin was taken. Dude, I lived off melatonin. I had all the blackout curtains everywhere. Lived off of it. There was no way. You know? Of course, says, I love the old international, by the way. Me too, man. I'm so glad we went with this one. It's so nice. Another t-shirt idea for sure. Casey says, work night shift at a truss manufacturer. Blackout curtains were a godsend. Yeah, man. Had to have them. Like, no other way around it. Uh, Corey says, oh, are you planning on putting in a beehive to increase the yield and produce honey too? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, for sure. I think, honestly, um, we may plow up a small... Oh, look, the train's riding... We may plow, 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 if I can talk, plow up a small potato field here, and we'll have to buy the potato planter as well, just to like experience it. And I'll have to go pick up our shovel at the shop. Man, look at that! Just a basic 3500 2006 model Silverado. Man, it's so nice. Yes, sir. Such a nice mod. I need to do like a mod showcase of the mods I bought off that modder. My mom has been doing night shift for 15 years and she tried switching to days and hated it. So she switched back to nights after five shifts. Well, see what happens there is you've become used to it. You know what I mean? Um, it took like after I left that job, it did take me a while to get used to being up during the day. Like, it, you, you have to reset your internal clock, you know, and that takes time, right? Um, I prefer night shifts. Do you really, though? <laughs> do you really? Do you really prefer night shifts? Why do you prefer night shifts? Let me ask that question. I'm talking about graveyard shift, not night shift. Like, night shift is, like, from 2 p.m. to 12 o'clock. You know, graveyard shift is, like, 12 o'clock to, you know, 6 or 8 in the morning. Graveyard shift is what I'm talking about. Night shift's not bad. Because you get off at 12, you come home, go straight to sleep, and you're good. And you have all morning to do whatever. Um, My wife was a night shift nurse for a couple of years, and being on opposite schedules was something. Yeah, that usually ends marriages. It usually ends marriages. Leo, uh, bees only help sunflowers, potatoes, and canola. Yep, I know that. Corey, bees only increase sunflower, uh, canola, and potatoes. Yep, and if we make a small potato field, we could uh, we could definitely... Uh, this is a good screenshot while I'm looking at it. I just looked at it. Cause we got the trailer. We got the first truck. We also get a good picture right here as well. It's a real good one. It's got the truck in the background. Uh, there we go. Screenshot. It's good to know. Yep. All them four wheelers are in bed. Yep. Uh, Bo, LL, we made it. We did make it. All right. Well. I guess we'll close it out. I'm going to go to bed. It's 11.44 p.m. I'm going to wake up at like 6 in the morning or so. I might nap. I might wake up and then lay on the couch and sleep in until after she leaves till about like 7.30 or so so I can get up and uh, edit uh, tomorrow's video and have it rendering and posted hopefully by midday. If not midday, it'll be, you know, afternoon for sure if it's not by noon. But all right, guys, uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button. Spam that for me so we can get this live stream once it's posted as a recording out to more folk. And I appreciate everybody watching. If you want to go back and watch the start, I did break down the series and what the series is about. 
and then we continued on to go back and forth with chat. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Everybody that became a Patreon, a patron, uh, Matthew Nee, I believe, became a patron. Uh, Josh says, worked 12 hour night shift from 6 o'clock to 6 a.m. for 11 years when my first son was born. First thing I did was give up the extra money for daylight. Would miss too much of his life. Exactly, man. It's crazy, man. It's not worth the money. Nothing's worth the money. I'm telling you, nothing's worth the money. When you're 80 year old, you'll be like, dang. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, it gets deep. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I'm going to get some shut-eye. Uh, hope you guys are – we may do this tomorrow night. We may go live for this for two or three hours tomorrow night. And I hope to see you guys there. Be on the lookout for the Rags to Riches episode 43, I'm pretty sure. Uh, be out tomorrow afternoon or around noon. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Let's go to the end screen, the end screen, the end screen. Uh. All right, guys. Peace out. Yeah.